Legends. All right, there's the record. All right, on air. All right. That wow. immediately covers him up. <laughs> now we're good. Again, I move out of the way. They don't need to see me. They see me on a weekly basis. So it's like, <laughs> if they don't see me one video, it's fine. You know, it's good. They just have to know your voice. <laughs> of course. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast. We are here live inside of Zoe Reborn. <laughs> we're back. For, I never thought I'd be back here again. I've been having dreams, nightmares of this place <laughs> in the best way possible. In the best way possible. Me and my girlfriend have not stopped talking about this uh, experience. It's been an amazing one for us, and uh, we've covered it so much. And we were invited back to do something special for you guys. A lot of you know, maybe you don't know. Um, there's a lot of people from Forsaken Lake that work at this at this spot right here. Weird amount. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, all Forsaken and five. <laughs> Five of us. All right. Man, and, and we, we just did Forsaken Month uh, back in February, so now we're back here uh, mid-August. Well, three of us are back. <laughs> we're, uh, three, three are back, two brand new. We're going to go around the room. Everyone's going to introduce themselves. You, you know some people. You may not know some people. You may be meeting people for the first time. You already know who I am, so I'm not going to introduce myself. Start with the newbies. We'll start with yeah. the newbies. Well, the one, well, the other one. Why are you looking at me first? Well, the one that's standing. My name is Nico. I'm in Forsaken Lake, and I also work at this beautiful place called Zoe Reborn. And my name is Ross, also from Forsaken Lake, and I work here. <laughs> just no yesterday. way! Do we have you? Do just you see yesterday. Just yesterday. Where we work just yesterday. Just yesterday. He works here. I so work just here. Know, in, in this room specifically. He works yeah. here. Just at literally my office. And then also at Cradle people. Like, like in between games, he's got a computer set up and everything, and then when the game comes, he just knocks it all off the yep. table. Yep. Like, <laughs> Alright, uh, reset. Boom. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, I'm Joey. I'm formerly from Forsaken Lake, and I also work here at Escapade. Hi, my name is Sage Forsyth. I also worked at Forsaken Lake, and I also work at Zoe. <laughs> what are you doing? You work uh, here? I work at oh, Forsaken, right. and I work here. I snuck in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> easy, easy. I hope you all work here. Wait, hold on. <laughs> we, snu we snuck in, and Christina hasn't kicked us out yet. I know. They just live here now. They're all squatting. They're all <laughs> on the payroll. Right. Sage actually <laughs> sleeps underneath the table at night, and yeah. that's where she's, you know, she's got I sleep on the couches in the, the next room over. Yeah. It's a, it's a I sleep in the bedroom. You know how we just have slept on those couches building this place? Oh, we actually have slept on those couches. Hey, you gotta yeah. do what you gotta do when you're on the go, right? You gotta do what you gotta do, so, exactly. And of course, Christina's back with us again. Our amazing boss! Yeah. Yes! 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 yes. back with us again. <laughs> How's everybody doing on a Tuesday morning? We're all tired. We are doing this on Tuesday morning. What? Where do we even get started? Weekend, and then all of a sudden a random Monday no. sold out, and That's we're just yeah, we're 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 tired. We're feeling it today, but it's good to be here always. It's doesn't really. I mean, it's work, but sometimes it doesn't really feel like work. At least for me. <laughs> By the way, congratulations on opening up Rock Band as well. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, a couple of them are trained on it now, so we're just we're getting everybody ready to go to Game Master that one too, because. It's a totally different dynamic change right. than what they're used to over here. So getting invention room and rock band is like where they can just kind of just have a good time. And yeah. Not not as stressful as uh, Zoe is. <laughs> I don't know, if you look at Sage, I don't think it's a stressful job for her. She just she enjoys torturing people. Yeah, she just likes to go on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Like That's I said, I snuck into here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sage was actually my first. So she is the OG Zoe Reborn. Zoe. Look at that. Yeah, she is the original Zoe here at Woo! Zoe Reborn. Originally when we first opened, I wasn't sure how Zoe was going to fit into the story yet. Um, so, I mean... I went into Zoe every once in a while for like a special group or like um, another former employee had gone in as well but then eventually I was like it's I think it's time to hire a Zoe and Sage just so happened to come into my life and uh, it was kind just of randomly also I came, yeah I think I also forced myself <laughs> yeah. into, into this because I, I came uh, I was actually at Knott's Berry Farm uh, or Knott's Berry Farm and I Avi worked here and I was like Avi, give me the scoop. What, what, how do I get into this job? Cause I kept trying to work here. And then Avi was like, yeah, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. And I was like, Avi. And then Roz told me, 
hi, I used to work at Zoe. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have it in. Yeah. So then I got me, the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Come sauce. Here, right? You have the OG shirt from the OG yeah, location yeah. too. Yeah, and so he uh, told me about it, and then he was like, "Say, we're going to escapade now," and I was like, oh, "Okay." And uh, I, he was like, "Okay, this is how much it is." I was like, "Wow, I don't think I can play the game, but I'll send my resume." And he's like, "Wait, I'll find a discount," and he got one. And so we played with a couple of our friends, and um, so you didn't friends, Martin. I was yeah. like, Martin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was very <laughs> Because the first time yeah. we played, it, it was you three, and, Mar oh, yeah. it was you three and Martin yeah. that played the first time. Uh, and my brother. He, and your brother. He topped yeah. out. He topped out. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys invited on. me to go like, play, no. but I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm you busy. Can't, you can't <laughs> Anyways. I was like, I'm busy, sorry! Yeah. And so then I, I said, I gave my resume, I was like, please, please! And then it eventually worked out. And, and then you had like, the wrong phone number on your resume. Oh my god, I, oh, what? I freaked out! I was like, I was like, what? what? So I couldn't even get a hold of her, I was like, She was ready to hire you Google voice number. number, I was like, Dude, so why? She doesn't why? Want it. Yeah. I forgot okay. about that, because the only reason they ended up contacting me was because the old manager that used to work here, she had my Instagram, so she messaged me on Instagram like, Hey, is this your phone number? I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. And I was, no. I was, as they all know, I'm very picky with my Zoe's. I'm very picky with my right. Zoe's. So <laughs> having her come in and be the first, you know, reborn Zoe was a big deal for me. So I don't make the cut then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right. Sorry, I got auditioned. <laughs> very particular and I was very hesitant to actually give Sage an interview but I had a gut feeling like I need to I need I need to give her an interview I gotta give her I gotta give her a chance and she came in and she blew me away in her audition I was like okay I need Aww. this girl <laughs> we literally hired her like an hour later like it, 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 we already knew that we wanted to at that point but we had her actually saboteur the next interview in group coming in so it that was, was fun it was a lot yeah. of fun. <laughs> That's awesome. It sounds like most of us, though. Yeah, right. But, like almost all of us here were just like on a whim, just like, yeah, we want you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a big like connection. So like, Sage tried about from Ross, and then Sage trying to spread it around to her friends. Yeah, and, like, and well, it I, just became I, like, Matt, and then Matt came and saboteured with. Nico. Well, I, I played OG. And, and he played OG. I, I tried. I tried to apply at OG. Like I right, tried yeah. to get hired at the original yeah. location, but yeah. it was still the original I was owners. Fully staffed. <laughs> the original owners were still in charge. So mm -hmm. that, at that point. I, until I did, until I did take Cause I, I also applied, I think it was like a little before you guys left OG Zoe and then came and made this one. Cause I, I applied in like March of 23 or yeah. yeah, 22. I can't remember. I think it was 23 and I tried applying and it wouldn't work. And I went like, I went through like this weird indeed voice audition. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I don't know like, about that. Oh my God. That's all I need to do your I know, I right? I, I said it, and then they're like, so we're going to be moving on with other people, and I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> for the first time, the first time I sent it in for OG, I just got ghosted, and yeah. then the second yeah. time, they were just like, nah, we're not hiring right now, sorry. Much. And I was that's like, how, that's how right. original owners were, there was no <laughs> communication ever, it was ever. So, it was so weird, but no, I was like really happy uh, that I got uh, accepted here, and then bringing everyone back over, and uh, was awesome. So. Yeah, yes, yeah, I think it's been like, crazy and especially like with you know all of you coming in and like the stuff that you do every day just like amazes me where I'm like Ross yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's like a new character. character I watch the cameras and I'm just like holy crap guys like you impress the shit on me every single day that you guys are here so and then especially Joey coming in and having like and he literally came to me he was like I could play Zoe too and I was like that's yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah. And, then, and then he was like, no. He's like, I already made my costume. And I didn't even hire him yet. <laughs> I was like, I'm ready. Give me a job. I, I was didn't so even ready. Was like, he was, was going like, to take it to the next convention and try it out. Yeah. And cosplay and he was showing me run. pictures. He was like, and I was like, oh. He's yeah. actually serious. Okay. He's actually serious. He wants to be the Zoe. And then I was like, okay, I'll give you, I'll give you a game of Zoe. He came in as Zoe. And I was like, yep. <laughs> And I That's what I want. <laughs> Ironically, it was me and Matt was the first time I ever played Zoe. And I was like, what am I doing? 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 <laughs> I've never panicked so much during a game, but I had so much fun. Yeah. I was like, 
Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, the fact okay. that you tapped out and still came back to come play again. Yeah. yeah. Cause like, <laughs> the first time he <laughs> played. tapped out last time, I uh, tapped Yeah, exactly. The, the that's first that's time what he played. Was saying. The first time he played was my saboteur game, and he tapped out in Zoe's bedroom. Yeah, so. Right after I got pulled out, he tapped. Yeah. Yeah, because. And, and I was going oh to tap God. out, because I was like. I worry, I, worry, I literally work here. I'm like, yeah. I'm just gonna like, like tap out once they get a couple ways through. And then everyone fucking tapped out and there's four of us left, <laughs> including me. And I was like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> and okay. then I got fucked with so, so hard that game. I was like, Joey, I'm gonna kill your fucking <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for a like, little context, I was panicking when we first all yeah, came Yeah, and I was in. like, Joey, relax. Joey, relax. Because <laughs> it was like on a whim. It was like so last minute because we had gotten a message from someone who used to work here being like, hey, they're testing something tonight. The game would be complimentary. Do you guys want to come play? I was like, um, no. <laughs> because I heard the word taser and extreme. I was like, I'm good. Nope, yeah. I'm chilling. I think I told you you don't have a choice this time. Like, yeah, you. That was my third time trying to invite you to Zoe, yeah, like and you kept ghosting me. I'm like, Joey, I'm gonna literally beat your fucking ass. For <laughs> You're coming to Zoe. So Sage is like, I'll play it with you. I was like, yeah. okay. And I, like, on the inside, I was like, I tried to wear costume. <laughs> But I was so, like, I think you guys already had plans. So I was like, no, I'm just gonna leave as is. And I slowly had, saw it happening. I'm like, so then this is happening. Yeah. So <laughs> we're sitting out in the lobby and we hear the knocking and we hear stuff moving around from inside the walls. I was like, oh god, it's one of these. It's a haunted house game. God damn it. <laughs> then we get in here and then obviously like everybody's seen it. Like we come in blindfolded and I was like. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, oh, you're the scared one. Stand here. I was like, oh, what the shit? <laughs> and she's the one that brought me in the first yeah. time. And then we've obviously talked about Mary before, and we were talking about it in the lobby. And she's like, okay, hold on, be right back. And she went back here, grabbed a random doll, like, oh, by the way, here's Mary, boop, and threw a random doll at me. <laughs> <laughs> I screamed. I screamed, and like then the I'm real sure. No, it was just like a, it was like, 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 like a, like a raggedy end on the back. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I like, just chucked that. I was like, oh, here's Mary, because I told him how haunted Mary was, and then also he's like, he's like in his lap, <laughs> and then because you hand, but it wasn't actually Mary. Like, Mary's in a box. Right. Mary's in a concealed box. So <laughs> you handed me a cross, and then you threw a dog at me, <laughs> and I was like, I'm. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. Well, mm, can I tap out now? <laughs> can I tap out now? You were like, nope. <laughs> and then we get in here, and they started touching us. I was like, okay. We get in here, and I saw the planchette, and I saw the Ouija board. I'm like, uh, well. <laughs> and then we were all right here, and everyone's like, Joey, do it. Joey, do it. Joey, Joey. I was like, oh, this is how I die. Put the planchette down. Music started. I was like, well. Okay, bye! <laughs> Goodbye, Universal was nice knowing you. Yeah, and, and mind you, that game, we had eight people. We ended the game with four people playing. Damn, half tapped out. Yeah. No, so, so two of them were saboteurs, which Me is and Matt Nico. and Nico. Yep. And oh. then the two other people tapped out, which was Joey and Kiwi. And then the other Kiwi, why are you tapping? Right? <laughs> why are you tapping? <laughs> they tapped because they tapped. I, I almost did, but I didn't. I was really shocked to see Salem back there. I was like, what the hell? I Salem know. tapped yeah. out because they didn't want me to make me feel bad going out by myself. Right. They're like, I'll tap out. You, oh, you, okay, I you, you, need, you need to see the highlight of that game. Oh. Why did you ever? Like, we, because we had, um, I can't the, do this. the four last I people. <laughs> I think the four last people was me, Martin, Jillian, and Avi. Yeah. And Avi was the only one that didn't. No, know it was me. Jackson. No. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. I remember that. It was Jackson. It was me and Jackson. Were the I was like, only so Obi was Someone, that. Obi was my beta right. game. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember because uh, it was like a bunch of wild crap was happening. So it was like I think Jackson and Logan, or was it Jillian? Who was it that was there? Logan, I think was there. Logan always. Because I remember like, that. Yeah, I think mean, Logan plays a lot. Of I games, remember so. that game being so unhinged. I was like, I don't want to be in here. Let me out. Literally, like <laughs> the 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 whole time with like beta games and everything. Logan will play, and he just taunts us. Yeah. Like literally, like we Logan were. Logan is just wild. Uh, we, we, were, we were in Logan. Zoe's bedroom to trying to like everybody. reset, yeah. do body bag and everything, and he just comes up down the hallway. He's like. <laughs> I, I whip around, he sees me, he's like, oh shit, he books it down the hallway. Yeah. 
<laughs> he's so funny. He's yeah, like, then we had a we had we had Lucio come to play, and when I that was podcast, that's yeah. when I actually oh, finished. And the that game. was when he finally finished. He got through the I, game. That was my second. And I played with him. It was so funny to see that man scream. You, yeah, the man you, who screamed. Oh, <laughs> finally got to scream himself. I, I want you to know so that funny. man. Yeah, Lucio, I'm talking to you, using me as a shield while I'm handcuffed to this one. <laughs> And I see that would have been that's the reason. We didn't want him to tap out, so they've been they handcuffed. They handcuffed so I was gonna force his arm down. They handcuffed them together out. so that way Nico would keep Joey's arm down so Joey could not tap. <laughs> but that's the entire time that's that was awesome. I was that like, awesome. when am I getting this handcuff off? And then, and then Joey was uh, was in front of me, in like in the corner of the closet. <laughs> and he turned back and he said, Christina, I don't have a fucking job after this. I swear to God. <laughs> Because at that point I was working here, I was like, yeah. hey, and like it's really cool. It scares the crap out of me, but I would love to at least have an audition or an interview. <laughs> and she's like, finish the game. I was like, oh, yeah, I finished How the game. was it crawling through the tunnel handcuffed together? Uh, so, so we actually they got, they got, they got out of here. Yeah. Oh, that was so that we, was right? right? Yeah, yeah. No, you want to talk about crawling through the tunnel handcuffed? <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> it's because there was one game that we live streamed. And I was all the way back in the very last room. We were in the study, and then whoever was playing Robert crawled in. It was, uh, and, uh, yeah, it was uh, yeah. one of our recently five. Uh, well, he left recently. Our uh, yeah. Body, so, but we were live streaming that game, and Christine's like, "If you get a certain amount of likes, we'll send Robert in, and he'll handcuff two players together." Mm -hmm. Devil's Advocate, I love it. Yeah, no, love it. it was crazy. <laughs> so we're sitting in there, and we're like about to do like the tunnel puzzle, and then all of a sudden we just hear a zap. Zap, zap. I'm like, mm -mm, no, I've played this game plenty of times. Uh, you are not supposed to be in here. Because <laughs> this is like round four for me. And then he crawls in. He finds me first. He's like, you're not the one I want. I was like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he finds someone else, and he was looking for another player and couldn't find anybody. He was like, Joey, you already know I know where you're at. Come on out. I was like, crap. <laughs> I put my hand on the chest. <laughs> and then he's like, one of you already knows where the key is at. Have fun. I had to crawl all the way back here <laughs> with another player who I've never played this game before and it's pitch black in the entire house. I'm like, oh no. I got the key oh, off of man. me and I got it on handcuffed and I looked at this girl. I was like, bye bitch. Run. <laughs> when Joey gets scared, he trembles like uncontrollably. <laughs> and so when I've come in to be Zoe a couple times, uh, Joey's like, I literally will grab his hand and he'll just be shh. Aching <laughs> and like sweating, and he's just like, like oh scared. My gosh. I'm scared now. Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my god. No, I will say with full confidence, I hate playing this game, <laughs> especially when she is in here, because they kidnapped Sage one time when we were playing, and Sage was like, Joey, save me! And one of the rules is don't be a hero. Don't go save your friends until you were told to. <laughs> and I was the dumb bitch that didn't follow the rules. <laughs> you so, to go save her, and I went to go she save Sage, up. and Sage got dragged back in. And I came out, and it happened while the lights were off, so I didn't see her go back in. And then oh, I all forgot about that, and we got flooped. Mm -hmm. All of a yeah. sudden, taser light, and Zoe starts walking over, and then boom! I was like, That's terrible. Oh, I'd run. I'd run. I'd run. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. she yeah. grabbed my hand. I did run, actually. Yeah. And then she grabbed my hand, <laughs> slammed my hand down on the table, because this was for Nico's beta. Right, game. Mm -hmm. And then she started playing taser tag with my fingers. <laughs> and then she's like, this little piggy died. Zap! Tased my hand, and then the light was still flashing in the fucking window. I've never ran so fast. <laughs> and I chased him around the table, and he was just running. No, and this then, video, we have to show you after this. That video is somewhere, yeah. oh, and man. I can't I couldn't it find it because he snuck away. So he snuck away, and then all of a sudden the light turned off, so I couldn't see where he went. And so then all of a sudden I turn, you see me like turn around looking for him. I flash taser, I find him, and I just bolt for him. Like, <laughs> and right that for him. I <laughs> ran in here and I slammed him around like, "Save you, bitch!" She's like, "They can't get me!" Yeah, and that was during that was that was during your beta. Yeah. So that was that was fun. And then um, so uh, our first saboteur game, which was our beta saboteur game. We had uh, Nico and Matt as saboteurs, and as soon as I saw them saboteur in action, I was like, all right, I, I want them on my team. And I was like, I literally approached them, and I was like, so, putting in your application. Like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I get an email from Dr. Satan. That's <laughs> <laughs> Nico. I open the email and it says, hello, no. like, I, I'm just reaching out to you because I, I, I really, I'm really looking forward to 
my job review and I'm like, Dr. Satan, I'm like, who the hell is that? And all of a sudden, 20 minutes later, I get like this long apology email from another email account from Nico. A professional. Like, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to email you off of that email account. I was a thousand corpse fan, but it's my username on Roblox. So. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 More specific yes. on Roblox, so, you know, I didn't realize, I was like, Huh. Like, I, I thought I put sense. Yeah, you didn't have trust issues. Yeah. Yeah. I was like looking at the scent, right? And I was like, dude, like, I, I could have sworn I sent something. And I look at the email, I was like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Nico, you went from Dr. Oh, no. He my sent, it, he sent right it from the Roblox and email. And then Joey saved my phone number under my email. Oh, my God. So then he kept emailing me anytime he had, like, anything. So he was like, hey, like, I'm here at the door. And I was like, why are you emailing me? <laughs> <laughs> emailed Christina so many times, especially when I was trying to get a job here, because the first time I, like, applied after Sage was like, hey, fuck, ghosted. I was like, damn it! <laughs> and then I, like, followed up a week later. I was like, hey, here's my acting resume. Here's my regular resume. Here is my cover you letter. You both of them? Yes! Oh, you have, like, a professional headshot and everything. Yes! yes. 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 What a yes. Yes. Oh, That shit was good to me, Nico! I was like, Joey, make works. your fucking resume. And he's like, you think I get his ad? And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. The vibe here, just like, even since like day one, and this was even before they all worked here, like, I'll be like, oh, hey, can you go grab this? And they all just look at me, no. And then they go and grab it and bring it back. I'm like, I mean, like, when we were talking so about the chairs. All of a sudden it became a thing where it's like, hey, uh, can you go, oh, can you, can you hand me that? No. no. <laughs> Grabs it, hands it. It's like the weirdest thing. That was the new yes. I do that all the time too at my house. Yeah. My dad will be like, Can you get that for me? I'm like, no. <laughs> you just get up and do it. So I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll, like, I'll, I'll even further. I'll just sit there for a few minutes. Act right. like I'm not going to get it. You're not and then eventually I'll get up and be like, Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah, but it's just become such a thing that like when people are here and like out of context, like they just hear that, they're just like, what? <laughs> like it throws them off. So like we have guests like that'll watch the game in the office if they're too scared to play because we allow that. Like one right. or two people, and that's fine. Or like friends are here, family members because a lot of their families come by to come check out the place, and then all of a sudden they come in and they're in, and I'm like, or they're like, oh, can you do this? Or hey, can you do that? And all of a sudden somebody's like, no, and then they're like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> like, sorry, and then they're like, no, I'm just kidding. It, it's just our thing here, and then they're like. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, they're like so confused. I'm like, yeah, you don't get it. You don't get it. You're not part of it. They're not part. They're not cool. They're part of they're the cool. They're, not, they're not cool kids. They're not cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you ever come play this game and we know who you are, oh, it's so bad. I know. And like, it, it's <laughs> I know. Why <laughs> you never come in the door? You're welcome. <laughs> I know. And it, well, it, it gets even worse if you work here because then they're like. Oh, we know your limits, <laughs> and like they know what we're about. I don't even know my own limits, like because <laughs> we have a like we kind of have like an playing this game. <laughs> we kind of have an unspoken spoken rule that if you tase someone, you're kind of free to tase them back mm -hmm. in a sense because we'll we'll tase each other a ton. But I think unless like, you're playing the game, I, like, like, unless you're in game, game, you're in like, game yeah. and you and and you decided free willingly, I'm yeah. playing the game today. Like everything's on table. Anything right. can happen to you at any time. Yeah. So if you come play a game, it's like it's. Like it free right. reign, so you're like, fuck, they're gonna fuck with me yeah, so hard. That was what was going through my head the entire time, especially yeah. if I knew the new people that were working here. Yeah. I was like, fuck. They're getting, they yeah. they 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 target on the back. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, they they like, your heart that's whenever I play. I did. The, oh the amount God. of times I got dragged and then like, I got handcuffed to cave the cage area, and then had to like have someone come get me. Out. Well, like five actors are surrounding the cage, zapping at it inside. You want to like, talk about what the thing is standing on the chair, jumping up and down? Uh, what are you doing? doing? During my beta, I kidnapped Sage from preschool and I handcuffed her in here. Yeah, he so, handcuffed like, me too. I have the photo. I have the photo from that. that. It went yeah, from Zoe to Saw real quick. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Zoe to Saw. When, when, when Jigsaw I, came out and said, we're going to play a game. When, when Wait, I was, have you seen the new shit they have? It gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm not playing this game with you guys. Fuck you yeah, guys. No, they don't take me to a chair. You know how many people, oh my god. Can I talk, about, can I talk about the thing we did to 
mic. Can I talk about that? That's one? fine. Yeah, you can. No, we Kate. We put someone in a cage. And like a oh, little yeah. a doggy cage and shoved their ass in there and then started tasting around it and everything and they got stuck in there until someone got That's the key to let them out. Yeah. Yep. And then we we've like it's a tiny squished it around. Yeah. And so you're Oh it my around. god, we were doing first scare <laughs> and he uh, was still in the dog in the cage. And we were, were spinning it like a baby <laughs> like in the middle yeah. of the room. There there's a there's a video of us. To me and I don't know who else. I think it was, it was me. me. I was your oh, yeah. so. And we, we were like spinning it around like crazy. And then like Joey and someone else came and helped us. We had four actors <laughs> spinning <laughs> Oh my gosh. And, like, and, he, and, and he's like, and he's like, like, and he's like, yeah, he's like yeah, yeah. Yeah. welcome to Zoe the ride. <laughs> <laughs> While that was happening. Keep all hands and pieces at the ride. <laughs> Well, I think you had the water gun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I remember you guys had the water gun. I was pouring water on the cage when we had him in there. I just got a cup and I was just like, Shh. Yeah, when, when, we, when we put him in that cage, I just took the water gun and I was just. No, but I don't think I'm mad about that because I, I remember sweating so right? much. Right? You know what? You guys can keep me in for a while. Just oh, bring, we keep in the water. There was one funny moment where, like, uh, I think Ross or someone else was uh, shooting someone in the hallway, oh. and all like there was like only four of them. So like one guy was like, "Oh my goodness, it's wet. Oh, that feels nice." And then the other one was like, "I want to feel." And like, "Oh, that was good." And then there was like, this one scared guy. Wait, there's water in there? He's like, "Head out." Was like, "I don't feel anything." And then like the other guy was like, "Let me try." Oh yeah, I feel it. And the guy's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we lost no the water, water gun though. We don't know where it is. What? Yeah, we lost it. Where? No. Oh, well, there she's, okay. we she, lost she's gone. She's She'll gone. be back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but, um, yeah, like, but yeah, yeah. So that's, that's and, kind of, oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. And anytime that we play the game, as Sage said, like it's, it's, it's fun. It's game on. Literally, when I, I was playing for his beta game for Ross's, uh, they pulled me out of study. I had Sage on one hand holding me like this. Christina on the other holding me like this, both zapping my fingers yep. with the oh bag my over God. my head. Yep. And I was just like, I'm done. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm done. I'm I swear yeah. I'm done. I remember we were in this room and that was when I got shocked. And I remember. I think uh, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember my girlfriend, she keeps, she still tells me this day, she's like, I didn't get shocked. I was like, I did and it was not fun. Yeah. I was like, I could still smell my my flesh <laughs> from the shock. I was like, I think I got like my my and then my coworker comes with his taser the other day and I just immediately <clears throat> sent me back here. Yeah. I was just like, stop. Now anytime that you hear a buzz of a taser, you're like, and not to mention it so was at a school, so there was an even scarier setting <laughs> right there too. You know, yeah. At school, so um, yeah, it was. Uh, you know, I had a lot of fun, Nico. You really gave me a lot of trust issues then. <laughs> that was just weird. No, it's not. You really did. Um, it's safe. Turn on your candle. It, no, yeah. it's not. It's not. Yeah. And I was like, I, 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 it was in this room right here. And I even remembered after that, I was like, I don't even think I'm going to listen to it. Did you find your water gun? No. It's somewhere. One of these bitches took it. Yeah. One of the new Yeah, probably Gage. I'm going to beat Well, one of them didn't well. work. One of, the, oh, one yeah. of them didn't work. Yeah, one, one of them, them actually We've been looking for that water gun for such a long time. I know, I know <laughs> I took it one time to take it to my combat class because I shot it at my teacher because we had this, we had this not Yeah, we she, had, came, she was like, can I borrow the water gun and take it home? Oh, no, I didn't ask. I just took it and oh, I said, I said to the kid. That's where it's missing. That's where it is. I haven't seen it last since that day. Shit and fucking die. Where is it? Where is it? No, no, listen to me. That's where it is. That was one month or two ago. That's been missing for a half hour, actually. Mom and Dad are fighting! No, listen, let me fucking finish. So I took it to, so to combat class, and I, I basically went up to the camera. I was like, I'm taking this, bye. And I left, went, and I, I, because we had this knife game at my combat class, where it was basically like, he wanted to teach us knife fighting, but the best way to be taught is like, if you actually just do it. And so we had this game where like, uh, we had these rubber knives, yeah, and you... <laughs> <laughs> get stabbed. It's fine. Basically, a game three points and you're out. And but he was like used tactic, and so some like for his first demonstration, he fought like one of our other instructors, and like they're really good, so they're going at it. But then he like grabs his hat off, fucking whacks him in the face, and then uh, knife fights and like stabs him three times. And yes. It's like holy shit. So then I wanted to pull out the water glove, and like I went over. The water I, 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I grabbed the knife in the middle because like we 
you would throw the knife on the ground, and whoever grabs it, that's who you fought. I grab the knife, and I'm looking to like see who's gonna fight me, and my teacher comes up. I'm like, oh, this is fucking perfect. So I waited, and as soon as like we had to like touch knives to like start the fight, we touch knives, immediately pull out, bang, bang, bang on his face, and then went bang, 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 and he's like, what the fuck? And everyone started screaming like, holy shit, you brought a gun? <laughs> you brought a gun to the knife fight? <laughs> That's and right, then, I remember seeing that on the 5 o'clock news. No, that was my other one. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but, the other but, one. No, but then I immediately came back here, dropped it on the table, and left, dumb bitches. Yes. <laughs> She's like, I'm not about to be blamed. She's like, this. nope. I have responsibility, unlike some people at this place. Yes. <laughs> I feel I like know. this podcast has just been officially. I want you to know. That's the point. I want. I want you to know there was someone who was here, kept shooting me with that gun. It was here, bitch. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even fight in this. I gave you my shit. I knew when these two were going to be on the show, it was going to be a fun. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck did I do? And other people in it, it's even better. <laughs> yeah, they're all crazy. This is what I deal with literally every day. I feel like we've gone off <laughs> on a tangent, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how, that's how these four children got here. Yeah. Yeah. And then this guy, this unhinged, this crazy one. crackhead over here. <laughs> He's unhinged. Tweaking. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> He literally takes crack in the in the backyard. We're building the secret. We're building the secret. Not that one. No, no. Pulling the curtain a little too far. My bad. My bad. No, no, no. I even had it. Listen, when I did my review, I even had to edit out parts because I was giving away too much. I was like, no, I can't put that in there because that's actually a puzzle. So about that. Right. Yeah. Don't peek behind the bookcase. Right? But Ross came from OG. So Ross actually worked at OG before I even did. Yeah. Like, so way back. Talk to me, so, Ross. Yeah. So I Talk was in um, OG Zoe back in 2021. I was working at Knott's. Okay. At the same time I worked Zoe. And I, I was just there for like the Halloween season. And then I had to like go back to the Philippines, you know. Ported. Live my, <laughs> live my life there a little bit and then go back, you know. <laughs> That was so funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I am can't make these jokes. You can't go back. Force, like, I can't focus. Don't have me back. 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 Audi was deported. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> We're learning a lot. The water bill. Got a felony probably. And, uh, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm anyway. Gonna <laughs> All right. For legal purposes, I'm legal here. <laughs> Thank you. Please, 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 please. Wait, 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 but yeah, um, I was working the OG Zoe. It was a lot of fun, especially it was my first time working at an escape room as like an actor there. It was a, really a lot of fun, but then I came here, did the auditions. I'm like, what the fuck? This <laughs> is Zoe from last time? Like a new, brand new Zoe, and everyone's just fucking crazy. Like, I'm not even kidding how crazy these people are. <laughs> I'm like, shit the fuck. You should have seen them. I had to play like, coming from yeah, you. I played with them. And I was like, no. Coming from you, that's Oh my god, I got fucking handcuffed. Yeah, we were handcuffed together. Yeah, because uh, one of the fun. old workers, she was like, oh, I think it'd be funny handcuffing the tallest one and the shortest one together. I was like, what the fuck? Nico's shorter than me. <laughs> and so then we got handcuffed. And this bitch is like, vroom, vroom, vroom. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, we were holding hands. We were like yeah. this. And his hand sweat so much. <laughs> no, because I'm fucking scared. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, like Ross, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Let me cook, let me cook. And we were holding hands and like, we had gloves on. So we didn't ever <laughs> feel that shit. Right? I didn't feel your sweaty fucking this. hands, little gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what? I love you too! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The gremlin calls him a gremlin. Hi, she's not gremlin. Early. She's not uh, <laughs> she's like, I'm not a self-identifying gremlin, okay? <laughs> yeah, she's the one who brought the gremlin into Krampus. Of course. Krampus! <laughs> I love Krampus.
crumpet. Oh my god, she almost did a, a loud crumpet. I was like, fucking let me in, give the crumpet. Give me crumpet! <laughs> give it to me! Well, and then we had an old crumpet day! I was like, I don't know, and then and then once I was like, okay, if we did like a like an evil, like conniving elf, like, I literally, I literally had evil elves. But when she was somebody with an elf, I thought that she meant like a, like a, like an elf. No, no, no. The oh, other yeah. no, the other one came at you with an elf, and then I was like, I pulled up pictures. I was like, this, this is what I yeah, wanted to do. Like, oh, okay. And then she was like, oh, and then she, the, the, uh, our other manager was like, how did you convince her? I'm like, I showed her. Yeah, I was like, because she just told me, I, 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 I want to be an elf, and I was like. What? I wanna be like, 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 the elf like, from like, the Arrow Krampus? Like I don't know what that is. Trouble! Like the reindeer! And then we started naming them based off of different British cuisines. So we had one that was called Crumpet, we had one that was called Biscuit. What was yeah. the other one? Like, oh my goodness. I can't remember. We had, so, we had so many weird names for it. And then they had an old Crumpet Day. And I was like, what the yeah. fuck guys? I'm here! <laughs> See, I'm not gonna be able to play crumpet because I'm six foot two, so it's fine. I think all the tall ones. I mean, six foot two and six foot five. Six foot five. Well, but with we, these boots, we know what we're playing. Six foot seven. Six foot seven. Nico is never gonna be Krampus. So they come be in and people are. I was Krampus. It was all. I don't want to be an elf. I want to be a reindeer. What? Call me Prancer. I really would. I think good money. I'm like the yeah. I'm like the middle ground. Like I could be both. Well, dude, dude, it was all awful. You do not think I'm the most. You don't think I had to hold my pants up and go. Oh yeah. Like so oh say, say, she, say she Krampus last year, and I have a couple of videos of her just like in the room just dancing, and I'm like, what are you doing? Because she's like, I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to like stomp and make myself big, but then like the clothes are like. <laughs> they were so I'm big like, on her. I <laughs> She's all holding them up the entire time. And right? Oh my god. But then she, it, it was funny because she would get to the back and people would be like, Wait, you were Krampus? And she's like, Yeah. And she's like, The sweetest little thing. She's like, Yeah, I was. And they're like, Wait, what? <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I mean, so listen, they're, all, they're all crazy. When I came through this experience, I didn't know what to expect. Well, I sat in that room. I remember the first thing I said too, which was to him, was, uh, Hey, you smell good. Yes. Like, not even scared. Oh my god! You are the experience! Let's go! I was like, you smell good. The Zoe experience. Oh, you smell good. I, I, spray, I sprayed my costume with Febreze right before going in. That's so. what it was. Thank you for doing that. Very so oh The scary part of treatment? Oh my god. Oh my god, something. Oh my god, something. Yeah. For a bit. Rubbing right? alcohol, you know, spray bottle. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my Please don't fuck something. <laughs> but yeah, the, for, for a minute, the office was like, Oh, man. <laughs> of the Trust five me, of us, I sprayed the crap out of our house. So I know exactly what oh, that's Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it was, it was, it was it's better, it's definitely bit, better than it's like, a, better. a gym workout, like, yeah. a locker room, but like, it gets bad sometimes, but like, I think everyone now, it's much better. Now it's so much better because everyone much actually, better. like, Febreze it better, and then nice. you guys got some fabric Febreze, which like, sticks to the costume. Like, yeah. the five of us are really good about keeping our costumes, like, right before because yeah, we did it during costume. Scary yeah. Farm. We are like, oh, yeah. spray, spray the, the hell like, out of your costume. That way it nasty. soaks in, it smells better, but like it doesn't smell like strong and right. pungent. But yeah, that, that was my first uh, thing. Like, pungent. I was scared, but at the same time, <laughs> this guy comes next to me. I'm like, damn, you smell good. <laughs> the, the, the funniest thing too is I I've done that at Scary Farm too, where Ooh. I'll just spray my costume and go out mm -hmm. on the streets. Literally, like, right before going out one set, I sprayed my costume. I don't know if it was me and Ross, but me and someone were like ganging up on this group, and uh, immediately one of the girls goes, "Why do you all smell so good? <laughs> Horror nights could never. You guys smell so good." And I about Ooh. lost it. I like had to like yeah. walk yeah, away. Yeah, Horror nights. Ooh. 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 Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Hey, the guest said it. The guest said it. We didn't say that. I didn't say it. Oh no, I'm okay. saying it's a Horror Night right here. here. <laughs> I didn't say it. I'm not the whistleblower. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, but I, I, I just remember uh, the ending to me was the probably the most memorable. I get called out. <laughs> and I have yep. to walk all the way back here. Um, <laughs> We've all done it. We have all But I, I think it. I took a more uh, I improvised approach on it. I it yeah. What? 
I, I did one say. negotiation with him. Uh, but that was a way Are you fucking kidding me? She's never done negotiation on her own? I did. I think I did it, I did it with oh, you. It's good to you know. Had... You've never done negotiation on your own? You bitch. You, no, 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 you like just screwed yourself over. Nico's you should beta, not have told I, did, yeah, you should, you should. I love the breath. smile over there, by the well, way. Yeah. I, 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 I <laughs> so many things about everything. I did it with Nico. Christina, I think I know exactly what you're thinking That's right! The Denny's yeah, but it was like a really quick one. I haven't had like I haven't had like some people do like a really long negotiation. I've never done one of those. Oh no. I no. just I, I think most of us are safe for one for a yeah. very specific beta game. Through all this, Christina's smile I'm is just so it. evil and so <laughs> funny that I'm just it's No, 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 I'm not doing No, 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 Yeah, I get 1200 bucks, that's fine. <laughs> I, dude, this thing is so fucking old, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you guys uh, you guys killed it in here. Uh, and it was something where I think I took a more uh, improvised approach with you, mm -hmm. where I was like, he's going to act, so I'm going to act. I'm terrified, but I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And I started calling, quoting Halloween Kills. Yeah. For all things, you know what I mean? And, uh, and then I started lore dropping. <laughs> yeah. The main thing I love to do, and, and this is something that I love to do when I go to haunts, especially if I know people, is mm -hmm. can I get these people to break? Mm -hmm. That's my favorite thing to do. Yeah. If I could say something, I or love do it something, when people try and do that, like in like I a so in like a funny, like respectful way, you know. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. There's, like people that are weird about it, but then there's people that are just really funny about it. They're my favorite because we will just banter back with them, and they're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> they're off guard. Yeah. I, I think I said something like, uh, "If I don't make it back, tell my mom uh, I love her," and then. This one was like, yeah, make sure you tell your mom you love her. <laughs> and I walked out, and I was like, oh, God. Um, no, the funniest was, uh, I didn't get to tell my mom I love her! I, Joey, she fucking died! Joey had a bunch of Six Flags people come, oh, and they were oh like, they, he was telling me. So he brought me in to be Robert, and they had no idea. So they, they thought it was they, just me, but they knew I was going to be Zoe. That was it. They, oh, they, man, they he, were first surprised then. He, he told me that they were going to try to break him, so... As soon as I ran out of the bookcase, they immediately were like, oh, we can't do this. <laughs> yeah. Like, they tried. They all They tried during they the out, and, and I shut silent. my mouth. Yeah. I feel like they, they didn't try at all. Right. Like, nope. Never mind. <laughs> I feel like, but, like I feel like a lot of us, like when we start getting into like character, like it's kind of hard to break us, cause like either we'll just banter back with you or do like even dumber shit to you, and then we'll break you guys instead. Yeah, I think that's kind of the perk of being an improv, like immersive theater slash full contact, cause it's like if somebody does say something, like you have free reign to say something back. Like mm -hmm. you're not you're not shut up like you are, you know, at other haunts or whatever. Like you can say whatever you want back. This is a rated R escape room. You can say whatever you want. Like. Yeah. As long as it's been within theming, and mm -hmm. one of my big things that I stress upon everybody is saying um, like words with meaning. So right. like, don't just throw out the f word just because you feel like it. Throw it out because it you're you're passionate about We're what scared, you're saying. You know? Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just throw that out. But if if somebody's but there's been so many things, especially during the uh, the hallway scare where you guys would go back and forth with the guests. <laughs> they will be like, I don't want to. I don't want. Guests would be like, I don't want to stick my head out there. I know I it's out there. No, I'm not. <laughs> I know she's yes. there. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, think, I think one of the funniest things that I've ever done with hallway scare was uh, like people were just saying stuff. Like I, I scared them, and they were like, like, oh, like, oh, why'd you do that? And it's like, you broke into my house. What the fuck do you mean? And they're like, oh, you're right, you're right. And you're right. I just walk away. I take it back. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I didn't want to stick my head through the door. I'll yeah. be honest with you. I, yeah, if you if you rewatch that footage, I'm <laughs> literally just yelling because I can talk loudly <laughs> to the person of what they're supposed to do. And my girlfriend's like, "You got to see your head through." I'm like, "I'm not sticking my head through." <laughs> no, I've seen enough more movies to know where that goes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, I'm not, no, I'm good. And so like, originally, well, I'm with that scare, we, weren't, we weren't originally gonna have an actor there for that scare. Right. Um, we, we had, like, it's stuff behind the door right now. There's, a, like, a Zoe, like, mannequin thing that we were building, and then we ended up, get, like, getting rid of it. Um, so it just had, like, a wig, and it was, like, a styrofoam, and we were going to paint it black, and then it was just going to be a figure at the end of the hallway with a light shining on it. That's originally what uh, the scare was going to be, at the end of the hallway with a light on it, just something just staring at you. But then I was like, mm. I was like, it's not, it's not realistic enough. 
So now with the scare that we've, I, so it's not, it's not a jump scare. It's not a pop up scare. I don't want them to come, you know, they open it up and all of a sudden you're there. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a jump scare. It's a subtle, like they have to be brave enough to stick their head out there first, look around. And as soon as they look to the left, boom, that's oh. when you go after them. That's when you go after them because it's, it's such a perfect setting to where they just go, Oh, and then they, and then they just turn, and then all of a sudden they go flying backwards. Yeah. Flying really? backwards. The amount of people we used to go. <clears throat> yeah. Literally they just yes fall onto the bed or. Oh, I've yeah. had. Oh my god, we've oh, had oh, people oh. domino through this entire room because we'll hop out through the door, and we will send them flying over to the closet. And this room is long, like yeah. it covers. My, my Speaking room. of this room, you know what's funny to rewatch from from our footage was. Not knowing she was under the bed, oh. and then watching the footage of her get under the bed yep. without me knowing. But that's and why I we love like, selling the footage, uh, so that way people can see yeah. some of the oh, behind the great. scenes of how things happen. Because it's like, because a lot, uh, we were talking about that this earlier. A lot of escape room owners have reached out to me, being like, "What is the success with posting, you know, a, a, some of your reveals of your game online, and what is the re uh, what is the success in selling the footage from your game?" 99% of groups buy the footage. It's well, very rare yeah. that a guest walks out of here and does not buy the footage. Yeah, I'll say this from experience, very rare. you know, even I, although I've already played this game, if I were to come back and play it again, I honestly would not remember a lot of the stuff again. Mm -hmm. I would have to, it would, it would probably come back midway through the game, but there's so much pressure put on you yeah. outside mm -hmm. of just the game with the whole experience mm -hmm. that that's in the back of your head the whole time. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. when are they going to come out? Exactly. When, it, when, it, you know, when's the next part that I'm going to be like thrown to the floor or something like, when is this all going to happen? Do I got to trigger something for that to happen? Yeah. Or can it just happen at any? So yeah. that was, yeah. even no, if I were to play this again, unknown. like it's I would not know what's Yeah. And every game that you play is the puzzles don't change. The scenery doesn't change, but your actors do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, trust us. <laughs> oh my God. And always different things different. happen in every single game. They all do, they all do different things. They all do different negotiations. They all do different styles of scare acting. So mm -hmm. if you, if guests come back, usually we get requests for, you know, oh, who's on staff today? People will call all the time and ask, you know, I'll let them know. And then they're like, oh, okay, like we're going to be there, you know? Or, or they'll say, oh, I haven't had that actor before. We'll be there later. You know, so that way, because they know that every time that they come back, they're getting a different performance. They're getting a different show. And that's something that I wanted to stress upon everybody, which is why I let them create their own. I give them the foundation. Mm -hmm. I tell them exactly what the, the style of the scare is, what to do, where to go, how to do it. But then they apply it in their own way. They, they do it in their own creative way. And I give them time. They all went through about almost... Two months almost two months of training before they actually get their beta and then get live like it is it's an extensive process that they that they do getting hired here and not only that but a lot of them started going in on games and saboturing um, before they even got hired here mm -hmm. so it's like it, it, they were getting a lot of exposure to because going from working at knots which is why they're all here today going from working at knots to going into working into an extreme setting was a big change right. mm -hmm. and honestly i've seen all of them become better scare actors from here and Yes, obviously it does suck that I lose them during the haunt season. It does. <laughs> and then they all know, they all, I said this to all of them. Yeah. It sucks. You're losing me and Ross. But it says, I, I always say, it sucks that I'm losing you, but I hope you have a great time. Yeah. Because it's like, I get the passion. I understand it. Which is why, like, and I, I have I have a staff of 13 right now. Um, when I lose them for the haunt season, that'll bring me down to a staff of nine, um, with one returning, so I don't have a full staff of 10. Last year, we did the Halloween season with a staff of six. So having 10 this year will just make things a little bit easier. So mm -hmm. I'm okay. Yes. I'm, yeah, I know. And I'm okay, I'm okay with the staff that we have. And, and I think that everybody here, I mean, they're all family. Yeah, I take care of them as, you know, I, I'm their aunt mom. Like, I defend oh, them in every single way possible. I know, y'all just recently saw Alien Romulus. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. I, see it I didn't see it in 40X. I wanted, I've not seen a 40X. Yeah, oh, it, was so it, was it was crazy. crazy. I, it was I literally was on my way home from a rehearsal, and then Christina was like, hey, we're going to go see uh, Alien in 40. I was like, yeah, and then Joe I was on my way home from you, Six Flags. No, I was like, you don't get to go home. <laughs> no, look, no, Jerry's here. Ben, you're here. No. <laughs> show up just to hang out and Christina will look at me, especially if her or like our other Zoe isn't here, I was like, get your costume on. I was like, ah, <laughs> get ready. <laughs> But never fails. But I, I very much so like to give them a lot of creative freedom and I just watching them grow, like I said earlier, like from when they had their first day here and just the first time watching them play the game to now. It's just like it's so crazy to me to think that that wasn't all that long ago and mm -hmm. like and i think that by this year when they go back to knots i think that it's just going to make their knot season much better as, a, as a person mm -hmm. and 
as a scare actor. And I think that they could apply things. Obviously, Knox is not an extreme place, but I think that they could apply things that they've learned here without the contact there. Right. Um, and they could apply it into their new characters and their movements and their style. And, you know, being comfortable working in the dark takes a lot of guts to do. Mm-hmm. You know, like, and especially because, like, even at Knott's, like, you're in fog and, yeah, you're in darkness, but this is a whole new level of darkness. Mm-hmm. Yes. So feeling comfortable and, like, just acting style and, you know, all that stuff is really, like, it's, and I, and I have a pass for this year and I'm ready to go. Like, I'm ready to see everybody in action. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. it's going to be, it's going to be yeah. crazy. And with Joey, you know, going over to uh, Fright Fest is just, like, so so cool and like and I'm heading out there too so it's like I can't wait to support all of you like I, I can't wait so I'm excited it sucks that I'm losing you <laughs> but or yeah. some, most of you I think we're gonna try our best because yeah. I still love working no yeah. uh, that's my thing because Friday Fest is only Friday through Sunday yeah so the I get I get month. some of them throughout the week so there you go. at yeah. least there's that and then um, <laughs> speaking of Ross getting hired here in this email, he was like, I'm Filipino, I'm built different, you don't understand, <laughs> I will be there every morning, and then I will leave for knots after, but I will be there. I, you know what, I, yes, I love this job, please, please do this. <laughs> I used to have a best friend who was Filipino, and I know how they are, they're on time, and they're everywhere. Built- Actually, and- look at this. They got great food. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not oh, this yeah. Philip. This Philip is always late. <laughs> always. This no, Philip is always funnier today. Hey yo. Hey yo. He texted up like eleven ten. Yeah, I'm the first one. Like, I'm here. I'm here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because, because I'm not here, and I pulled up immediately yeah. after. Yeah. And they're like, we'll be there soon. Uh-huh. <laughs> I pulled up at like eleven twenty three. I was like, I'm taking my sweet ass time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Working here definitely like teaches you a f- new form of scare acting for sure, and it really like lets you understand like the the ability to just wait and let people settle themselves into like the darkness or into areas that are really creepy and not just like constantly going at them because exactly. like with not scary farm whether you're in a maze or whether you're in a on streets like in maze you honestly don't have a lot of time to like let things settle because they're in one room out the other like super quickly mm-hmm. and then on streets like you've got all these people constantly going at you and like Sometimes I think uh, you can get easily overwhelmed with the idea of just like going like constantly moving, going back to back to back, which works yeah. sometimes. But then mm-hmm. other times it's like sometimes like it's better just to let things settle exactly. and let like your presence be known. And here like it's all about like presence and everything. Like oh, with yeah. pre scare, with like the hallway, even in Zoe's fake out, like there is a lot of time where like you just exist and that's terrifying in of itself mm-hmm. and i've told all of you it's the line to the roller coaster <laughs> rather than the roller coaster yeah. your, itself when you're yeah. on the roller coaster you're smiling you're laughing you're having a great time but it's that line there that you're like oh shit i think yeah. i think it's, that's, it's part, that's built. partly where my knots experience comes into play because my first year i was in paranormal inc mm-hmm. which had the pre-show yep. so it literally was a pause of people mm-hmm. and people were going up and I was pretty much the final room of demons. Yep. And people were just all the way up. They see the laser and then boom, that's when the scare hit. No, exactly. Yeah. And that's the reason why we have the coffin monologue. Mm-hmm. The reason why we have the coffin monologue isn't necessarily for... I mean, it ties into the story a little bit because you do find the bell. But but it's to get you to sit down for a minute on the benches and just like absorb the atmosphere. Sit there in the dark and collect yourself for a minute. Literally, because if, if, it's, if, it's a constant, yeah. if it's a constant, just like boom, 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 yeah. eventually get desensitized. Because right. that part of the game is probably the most intense mm-hmm. part. And then it's a, like you it's go from intense, chase, intense, intense, it's intense, intense, the body and bag. And then it stops it's, and it gives you about three minutes just sit yeah. and listen to a you guys like you and it gives them it gives part. the actors a chance to come back here and reset the final stages for the from the last room it's it everything has a, a reason everything has a point yeah. to it and i think that sometimes i amaze and not just this the forsaken staff but yeah my you know normal staff as well like and i think that when i explain things of, as to why they are the way they are all the time everybody's like that makes sense. sense. Right. Yeah. But, you know, but, and it's like, you know, there's a reason for everything in this room. And it is because you can't, it, it's, it's a big hump. That's why I tell everybody, if you get through the first three rooms, you're good. You're smooth sailing. Yeah. Because yeah. at that point, you at least understand the dynamic. 
you understand the full contact. By that point, you've probably, if you've done extreme, you've probably been shocked by at least that point. If you haven't yet, that's okay too. Because mm -hmm. our goal isn't to necessarily shock you. Right. It's not our goal. It's it's more so part of the game because the actors play the game with the people yeah. who are playing the game. Mm -hmm. they're, they're both playing the game. So like yeah. if you're caught, like, my actor, you know, will will shock you. Right. But if you're not caught, you're good. Like you're fine. Yeah. And and there there's there's a lot of things where it's like you know as soon as like because that's why like I'm very much so like constantly retraining everybody. And it's not because I don't think that they are capable. It's because everybody sometimes needs a little refresher of what it was like the first time that they played. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs a refresher of that sometimes because the first time that they played, they were all shitting themselves. <laughs> but now it's like now that they are the ones that are acting and they are in charge of doing that to another human, a paying customer who's coming here for a good time. They're not coming here to get hurt. They're coming here to have a good time with their friends. Mm -hmm. right. So it's like, and sometimes, you know, um, you just have to remember that and get into a cycle of like, and sometimes, you know, if something, I let them go in and try something. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll tell them, hey, let's not do that. That didn't work. If, if you try something and it worked or it was funny or like it made the group laugh, cool. Keep doing it. Do it or do it sporadically. Don't, maybe don't do it to every group. Maybe feed off the group. See if, you know, how they react to certain things. And, and I think that all of them have become a very good judge of character of like how the group dynamic is going to be. And because one of the things that I've been, um, considering lately is eliminating the pre-scare in the in the in the in the waiting room mm -hmm. because i do want to delay that interaction a little bit longer um but i haven't yet i haven't made that that, that judgment call but that pre-scare really is the determining factor of how their group is going to be right. um mm -hmm. so like it's not necessarily for the guests i mean it is but it's mostly for my actors to go in there test out the group are they reacting are they scared are they already scared Who's the one standing in the corner? Because we all know whoever's going to be up standing is usually the most scared. So it gives the actor a little bit more of a dynamic. So we've kind of, we've definitely dialed back the pre scare a lot from what it used to be. Right. We used to like shove people down in the couches and like stuff like that. Like that's kind of like how it started. But then it was like I was like, let's take a step back from that. Let's take a step back and let's just give them an introduction. So let let them just hear your footsteps. Let them just feel you. Just go like that. Like subtle stuff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they always react. <laughs> right. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even. I don't even. I scare you out of nowhere all the time. I go, I'll pop out of there. corners and Ross goes. Ah! And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I do. I didn't even yeah. do anything. I just walked out of corner. Ross is so overreacting. It's so funny. But. <laughs> Oh my god, no, you all talk about getting scared in here. This bitch last night. Oh my god. Because they have the candle whenever they play Maria now. Mm -hmm. I just hear, stop. And just right in front of me. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and we, we were watering. We, yeah, we too. Scared Ross, Ross, shit. Ross our first Maria. Maria in the lore is Zoe's mother who died during childbirth, giving birth to Zoe. Right. And so we brought a Maria character in. Because I, I always kind of wanted to, but I was like, it has to be the right costume. It can't be looking identical to Zoe. It has to look completely different. And Ross was like, I got it. Yeah. And I was like, I swear all he's like, black here, veil. Oh, I got it. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's what that yeah. was. Yeah. That was the bride from Insidious. It looks that's, not like that. 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 It's inspired from I that. Like, oh, I was like, I, I, I saw that on the story today. I was like, oh, they're doing like an Insidious photo shoot. That's cool. Yeah. It wasn't it's that. A, no, that's, 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 yeah. that that's a new that's character. That's a new character. That's horrifying. Because like, with the black costume, we just can't see him yeah. anywhere. So he yeah. blends it's a complete in. ghost. Because yeah. that leaves yeah. people on that that flicker oh, just like yeah. a movie oh. where she just kind of appears. Yeah. yeah. She's exactly. terrifying. Exactly. Exactly. He, he scared me. I was, I was waiting for negotiation just in here. Pitch black. He's just standing in Zoe's bedroom and I just hear out of nowhere, he's got your baby. He's got your baby. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Literally. It is the craziest I thing love ever. So much. At least with these characters, like they're wearing some form of white. That way you can yeah. see the blood splatter on them. So if you turn contrast. on that candle, you can at least maybe see like their silhouette like off in a corner. Yeah. With fucking Maria, you can't see them you can't at, see Maria all. at all. Like you can turn on the lights That's in perfect. any yeah. room, like in here. Like there's not a lot of light in this room, especially when we turn on the That's theatrical so lighting. Mm -hmm. It's not too bright. But still, like there are some there are some spots in this room where they can literally just be sitting off in a corner just watching and you'll never see I know, them. I tried. I tried to hide and they still found me. <laughs> <laughs> out of the door and they still found me. Like, I'll just, out of the camera views? No? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right? No, 
you're, you're you never know. actually have no. you. And, and with the constant communication that we have, like, because we use walkie talkies with uh, earpieces, so they all know, you know, where you yeah, are. Yeah, need to away my location. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you would be online. You would be online. You would be online. I got to bring EMP next time. Nico always does a great job. He's like our most talkative game master. So he was our game master. This is Nico, by the way. This is who we were talking about on the podcast. He looks so awkward. He's like, we're all just sitting like the Last uh, Supper, and then there's Nico. Mm-hmm. Do you want a chair, by the way? Do you want to sit down? Now? We tried. Like, like, he forgets. He didn't want to sit next to me. I I feel like if I sit down right now, because my God, Monday was so messed up. Uh, I feel like yeah. I'll fall asleep right now. Like, <laughs> that's why I'm standing to just keep the. He's gonna sit. Right 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 but uh, Nico took very good care of us in the game, and uh, I think really helped immerse that that story to us very well. Um, Tricking us sometimes to think <laughs> that things weren't there when they really were, uh, but it, it, you did a good job. Yeah, you did. Really good job. Nico did a know. really good job of setting up actors for scares and like mm-hmm. put, put positioning, like knowing how to position people in a really nice way for the actors to like get them, and then like if one person gets scared, it's a domino effect. So everyone's like, "Why are we screaming?" It's like, "I don't know." And so he does a really good job with that. It was that. so funny because he came to me. He was like, he's like, I got an outfit for a game master, and I was like, what? <laughs> and right. he's like, I have a costume. And yeah. I was like, okay, he's like, I'm going for the full on investigator. So he shows up in some like ghost hunters like. <laughs> yeah. Dog, I thought you were gonna go full bagans. No, 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 uh, I guess like if you I have a book, yeah. yeah so I like this little book, right? Where it's like, oh, like I need you guys to sign this. Like, oh, you guys are signing in. Like, this is your second wave of waivers, correct? But in reality, I'm just trying to get their names so that actors could like say their names during like mm-hmm. a scare right here. Mm-hmm. So it's like really intimidating. Like, how do they know my name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. People don't even yeah. think about the fact that they're writing down their names at the top of the game. Yeah. So when he goes game mastering, he'll be like. Okay, here's a list of names. Um, this person looks like this. This person looks like this. This person looks like this. And we're like, okay, cool. So it it trips them out, especially like when they come back out into the dining room to solve the puzzle in here, when you have to come back out, and just being like Sage, and they're just like. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Can they do that, that to me all the time? I'm like, Mm-mm. nope. Oh. And that little book. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> I was that little. I was super cautious of that. I was looking at every corner, and I knew someone right. was gonna, right when I got out of the morgue. I knew this one was gonna be behind there. I knew yeah. someone was gonna be behind there, and then she chases me. Yeah. And then I get in here, and he's sitting over there, and I'm just like, okay. Um, what do I do next? What's up? <laughs> and then for some reason, I thought that I was missing three pieces when I was only missing two. I was like, isn't there supposed to be a third one? And he's like, aren't they both there? And I was like. Oh yeah, you're right. There's two. <laughs> so, uh, like, you so had se- here. Yeah. you had seven pieces. I have two. It's a nine. Like, oh, no, it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's okay. You don't really think about anything no. right here. I was like, wait. Okay, no, yeah, that's like right. the third I, like, piece is you. I think no, I discussed right. this in uh, my, my the podcast with just you and I. When I was like, I don't like playing my own game because then I can't, I can't decipher my lucid dreaming within like me actually playing because I'm such an immersive person that I put myself into like such immersive stuff so like when I play I literally feel like I'm like lucid dreaming again right and like and so I I played very few minimal times I love the Lucio one (laughs) and I so yeah I played with Lucio and Joey and Nico and I can't remember who else was there uh, I think Destiny was there. Oh yeah, Destiny. yeah, that's right. Jillian, Jillian was Jillian there. Was Jillian, Jillian was there, yeah. yeah. So, and that was it. And, I, and I, the entire time, I was just like, holy crap, guys. Like, you just are, cr- you're all crazy. <laughs> but it's like watching, you know, the staff when I'm like actually physically playing versus like just knowing them in person. It's just like, so different. It's so different yeah. to me. Because it's like, like, yes, I'm their boss, but when I was playing, like, I'm a player. I'm mm-hmm. a player. Like, I'm fair game. <laughs> so, yeah. It was, we, we, we did not hold back. <laughs> yeah, Sage chased my bear skin. Oh. I was not your bear skin! <laughs> you had thin clothes in my butt, girlie! <laughs> no, but it, it is it is crazy, like like you said, like being like like not thinking. And like so when you're when you're in here, your brain really does just kind of just go to mush. Because yeah. you're so like yeah. you're so afraid and like you don't know what's gonna happen, you don't know what to expect. So like when you're thinking, oh I, you know, what what is 
seven and nine. Like, oh, that's two. You're not thinking about no. that. You're just thinking, mm. wasn't there this? Like, I don't know. Well, I think because I, before I left there, I think we were still missing a third piece. Yeah. But then when I got back, they was there. I was it was like, there. Y'all been so like, The Zoe <laughs> brain rot is yeah, loud. Yeah, the Zoe <laughs> brain rot is real. And, like, a lot of people come in here thinking, like, a lot of people at the door like, Oh yeah, like I, I, I'll be fine. Like I, uh, we want it. the most extreme version we were, that you. We were the oh my god, they, they hate. Yeah, yeah. Right. They, so, it's always the ones who say we want the most extreme. And version. then they tap out and before they, tap, they even really get to. They tap room. or they say, uh, can we take it a step back in the walkie-talkie? Well, now that so I know like, the layout, and when I see your videos on the on the on Instagram now, and I see them tap out here, I'm like. That is so early on. We had, we had a group of ten mm -hmm. people tap out in the bedroom. Yeah. Most oh people tap God. out here. And I'll just be, I'll be like so sitting under the bed like this. Before like before getting <laughs> in, actually. A lot of people tap out before they even start. I yeah. so lobby, lobby here, here and be so it's bedroom. When yeah. Nika and body bag. bag. Body bag. Body bag is probably the biggest one where we get a lot of tap outs. I was surprised our guy didn't tap out. People that was their first time doing the escape that on. Being put inside of a body bag, especially the way, because I I literally tell the actors, put them in the body bag like yeah. literally put them in don't just be like crawling put them into it yeah. be like get down and like push them into it and then zip them up make it dramatic you know and i was like make it like you're, yeah like, they, it was a fresh kill and then during october we bring out the chainsaw when they're in the body oh. bag and then we start touching them with the chainsaw as the chainsaw is rubbing yeah. so That's it's scary. it's intense yeah <laughs> I, I i was talking to someone about that because i was talking to my coworkers about it. everybody at work thinks i'm insane for doing this <laughs> i'm like no it's fun like i even told my mom and she she loves doing escape rooms, but she hates horror escape rooms. Yeah. So you, you would yeah. never catch her doing this, but you probably catch her in the tech room. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I was telling them about the body bag scene. I'm mm -hmm. like, there's a scene where they drag one of us and they put us in a body bag and you got to go rescue that mm -hmm. person. And my coworkers were like, well, I'm a big dude. I'm like, it's a big body bag. It's a big I was like, body bag. Fit, if I could fit in it, you're definitely gonna fit. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, don't underestimate the body bag. I'm like, don't it's one size fits don't, all. Don't underestimate. Get in the body bag. Yeah. Get in the body bag. Me and Nico, like, we're not as tall as like Joey or Ross, but the way that we present ourselves as Robert or Joseph in that, in that mm -hmm. sense, it, it gets tall people to you're a man possessed. power. You really are. Like, yeah. when yeah. you were playing that character, you were a man possessed. I didn't even know you, you have You have to be. Because, yeah. like, when, when, especially when you get, like, a rowdy group, like, it is known that when we get a rowdy group that comes in just thinking that they're the shit and they're not blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we, when they break. You know how many times that, that I've watched them and, and the other staff members take somebody who thought that they were oh so macho and just had literally just yesterday they shut up the rest of the game. Oh my god. Because <laughs> they need to command their audience. They need to let them know like I'm not fucking around. Like you're playing you're either playing the game my way or you're not playing the game at all. Yeah, and right. I think and I think so, that's like more like the big difference with like not scary farm and here is that like I think a lot of people who like like newer folks who are too not scary farm who are working it. Like, sometimes they, like, maybe they feel intimidated by people who, like, get up in your face and then, like, they'll try and mess with them, but they'll eventually back off. And, like, truthfully, there's only so much you can do with not touching them. Mm -hmm. But here, we don't have that limit. And so when people are trying to, like, be macho or say, like, oh, you can't do anything, like, like yada, 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 like, we'll just, like, we'll, like, okay, we're targeting you now. Yeah. Like, fuck the scared people. The You're now here. Yeah. Like, it exists, but at the same time, it doesn't. This mm -hmm. room yeah. is, like, a weird gray area where we can mess with you a little more. Because, like, we have people, because obviously all of us have experienced it, working at Scary Farm, you have guests that will, like, bark at you. Or they'll, like... Yeah, I don't understand that still. I don't understand that at all. It's so but weird. It's, <laughs> it's weird, but, like, guests do it. Right. And, like, right. people will, like, try to mess with us. Mm -hmm. And then you'll go to walk away, and you're like, yeah, that's right, bitch, walk away, yada, yada, yada. And then you just stop. And you turn and you grab them and then their friends just watch them disappear and you drag them, you put them in this room and you shock the fuck out of them. They're playing on extreme. And then, yeah. well, and even, and then even they just not, never talk well, to them. Even, even, and you never hear from them again. Well, even if they're not doing extreme, you can like, just because, just, you be, just because you're not doing extreme doesn't mean we can't do shit to you because the only difference between extreme and normal is that we can't taste It's the you. shock. That's, yeah. that's it. That doesn't mean we can't And there's a difference you, between trying like, to break we, them yeah. and trying to really disturb the game. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then we've had guests that have tried to literally disturb the game. Like yeah. make tr things try to go wrong or like... Like they'll literally try and sabotage. I think, I, I, sabotage I think we came game. in the complete opposite. Yeah. Like I was just terrified. Oh yeah. I was talking to you. You guys were amazing. Oh no, that's, that's terrified. Amazing. Like yeah. the, t the only one that was excited to do this was my girlfriend. 
Yeah. And she was smiling and happy all the time. <laughs> even, when you, even when you dragged her out, she was laughing. She was having yep. a good time. Having a good time. Oh, it's so you know? good. And, and, and that's usually yeah. the vibe, but we do yeah. get we, that occasional just asshole. Rowdy, there, yeah. Yeah. When, I, when I first started, there was a group where uh, they were just opening things before they should have and kept the things on them. Yeah. So like we, I, I was sent in to try to fix it because I was the actor for the game. And I was sent in to fix it to make sure it was all locked up and reset. And they kept everything on them, mm-hmm. which prevented me from doing that. Oh, we had we had one group um, somewhat recently. Um, it was me. I think it might have been you and Ross or you and Nico. I can't remember, but we had we had a group that came in super faded, like oh, high, they, they high took, and drunk. They at took the same this time. lock from the they VHS took this lock into Zoe's bedroom. Zoe's bedroom. So and, all three and, of us burst in to try to take this well, lock. Well, it, it's worse because <laughs> in. Um, First scare. First scare is where you really learn if they're gonna fight you or not. Mm-hmm. And they were kicking, scrap. They were doing all kinds of shit. And I was like, told our game master, you gotta watch out for this group because they're and they're they not did. doing so hot. <laughs> uh, that game master wasn't really watching anything. But um, we ended up having a lot of problems with them. We did fake out. We were able to get through, and like they're reacting, they're scared and stuff, and it's like okay, whatever. They're hurting themselves but too. But they, they were like, they were kind of like throwing themselves everywhere. Yeah, and then, I, like, I went to grab this one dude, and he flung his head back into the wall yeah. and started blaming Jesus. me for, for, for yeah. pushing his head no. into the wall. Like, yeah. the amount, like the amount of people this, that can't this, watch this group themselves. was just this group should have never played. No, they should not um, have played because it's like I'm 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 an advocate for do whatever you want in your free time. I don't care, like that's your business. But when you come to play a game like this, you at least need to be in a conscious mindset of like what's about to happen to you. Because at the end of the day, everyone's still human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like everyone's human. Yeah, you are coming here and paying us to fuck with you. Let it happen. Stop wasting wasting your money. You know, you know what you're getting yourself into. We have warning signs out front. So like, we got we got a bad Yelp review. What was it like two months ago now? Oh my! And uh, this lady (laughs) said, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I didn't know this was gonna be full contact. Blah 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 blah. This was, you know, I, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know. You sign a waiver before you come yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, and then, and then, she, and then, and then <laughs> she said she put that we were. It was only a group of four. So that, you know, that leaves four people. Twenty five percent chance that you're gonna be the one taken. Yeah. And apparently we were being racist and sexist of who we were choosing for. Dude, we can't. And we didn't choose anybody. anything for anybody. Like we didn't. We didn't choose anything. They made their own choices throughout the game. We were, but we were targeting. And I was like. Seriously? Nico, right now? Didn't you like, say what? that uh, that group, like literally the same person had the candle and that's why they kept getting yeah, asked with? The same yeah. person had the candle and like they said we were targeting when we we're like Dude, that's you're the rules of the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, like you know what? Yeah, turn off the soul. For like, people who right. don't know the rule of the game, is we give you candles throughout the game, mm-hmm. or we give you a candle or candles depending on how many players you have. And one of the rules of the game is if you see the monster, if you hear the monster, turn that candle off. The darkness is your savior. That is going to be the only thing that will protect you. And then when... And that's real, though. And when you know they're gone, that's when you can turn on the candle and keep going on with the game. Mm, Yeah. They ignored the warning sign and everything. I was on that. I was like, turn the warning You have to be so careful when you turn it on. But I'm like, on our website, it's a full disclosure of what we are. Yeah. We have a full waiver. We have warning signs out front of what we are and yeah. what this game could be. There's include. videos on the internet, people. Yeah, exactly. like no, we tell you when you come in the lobby. There is expectations, and, and and like, like I said, you know, a little bit before, a lot of escape room owners have asked me, why do you post those videos, so that people know what the heck is about to happen yeah. here. Because at the end it's of the day, safety for it's, them, it's, it's safety, safety, yeah, for safe, us. Yeah, safety for them, safety for actors, yeah. safety for everybody, mm-hmm. and not only that, but they come in here with an expectation. And they, because a lot of people are still in shock that there are that, that we are a full contact escape room. Right. Because yeah. they go in and play an escape room and also they go, wait, full contact, what does that mean? Yeah. I get phone calls all the time, what does this mean by full contact? And I explain to them and they go, oh, okay. Yeah. And like, it's it either a yes or it's a no, it's not for yeah. everybody. And I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that this is not for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, well, and we've also been able to like convince some people because we've had people either come play normal mode or some people way too scared to even play and they'll sit in the back and they'll watch their friends and we're like, it's really fun. Like, I like, like watch it, see if you like it, and then come back and play. Yeah. And people will literally and they do. see the whole game with their friends and then come back and play again. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. It, like, it, it, so it doesn't affect yeah. us because yeah. you know the more videos that I post, the more people come. Yeah. Like it, yeah. it, it it's crazy. It's been crazy. Like especially on TikTok, 
Mm-hmm. Like, we, we are now in, and this is announced by official platforms, we are now the leading escape room in the entire world wow. with the most amount of combined views on TikTok, wow. as well as the most amount of followers on TikTok. Congratulations. It is, yeah, that. it's That's been huge. We have over 100 million views across all platforms. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And they it's want, crazy. People still want to act stupid as well. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally yesterday, yesterday we had a group. And like they were, they turned the candle off. They were, they were following the rules as they should. And next thing I know, I hear, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dude I just starts group. tenting me. So I zap it, find exactly where he is, zap him because it's extreme, throw him to the ground, and be like, "You want to act funny? This is how you're gonna get treated." Silent the rest of the game. The rest of the game, because and and that's sometimes what you have to do. And also we. He, he he says throw to the ground. He's not actually yeah, yeah. Right. throw the no, guy to the ground, but like he'll scary. put it on the ground. Placed on the ground. Yeah, he's placed on the ground. Just yeah, to be clear, but I'm not throwing. that strong to throw people. <laughs> I'm not that strong. <laughs> Get on the ground. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. The only person I could probably throw is Sage. Right. right. Yeah, no, I think I think but I think someone one time down. threw me because they knew me and like one of the actors grabbed my ass and went. Pay Ali! Ah! <laughs> yeah, but, no. Because yeah. there's so much training to like move people yeah. around the room because they're, you have to like grab people. They have from the to shoulders, they're in char- the, the insurance the to cover them is very expensive. Yeah. The amount right. of and I we pay I pay hundreds and thousands of dollars a month in order to insure them, but that's why they have to go through so much training, is because it's like you when you're physically handling a person, you need to know exactly what to do and mm-hmm. like yeah. and, and not only that, but like you we, you don't pull just their legs out from underneath them or you, you don't yeah. do that you put them down first and then you drag yeah. so it's like it's it's very much so like constant you know working with working with working with watching actors that have already been working here seeing what they do and like adapting into yeah. this life because it comes with a lot of responsibility being a full contact escape room you know because like there, there's been um there's been a couple of attempts out there but then they decide the insurance is too expensive and then they stop doing full contact there's been there's been that before but i was like no this this is a full contact room and it will yeah. stay a full contact. And there's a lot there's of like, a lot of people call and say, Oh well, can I just request no contact? No, nope, sorry, this is a full contact escape room. And I've lost a lot game, of business because of the that. Game's yeah. the game's the game is built around The game is built around that. If you can't yeah. have, we can't touch you, like and we, can go stop. And we have we have made very, very, very careful exceptions mm-hmm. where we have tried playing this game without like contact. It just doesn't That's work. Mm-hmm. There's no. there's so many parts of the room that are literally so like revolving around you getting grabbed or moved or us allowing to to position you how we need you to because otherwise like like in a normal hunt they could just stand in the corner and you can't do anything about it you just stand there mm-hmm. and like you could like literally out of character be like please you need to go this way like that's why that's, this, not... that's why all these rooms are so massive mm-hmm. yeah. it's not only because we want to be able to fit maximum amount of parties in here it's yeah. also because we want we need space. Yeah. If we're gonna be a full contact. We need space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if because it's like if, 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 if that's why Pinocchio will have the option of full and no contact because mm-hmm. it's a lot it's a lot smaller of a space. But mm-hmm. the goal for Pinocchio when we get that open mm-hmm. is to get them to be like, well, if they could do this much within this co- with, with this with this amount of space, imagine how cool Zoe. By is. the way, we're so psyched for that. Oh, I'm, we're, I'm we're so psyched like, for it. If you're talking about it like crazy, yeah. we're we're already marking it on our calendar. Oh, it's gonna be we're great. So, so oh, it's gonna be so so. You should see the room. It's so cool. It's like on the, the girlfriend has already wrote the list of what we're doing this haunt season. It's on the list. It's on the list. That's a perfect stepping list. stone as well, going from yeah. this one yeah. to that one. I yeah. feel like Pinocchio is also a great place for Christina and Jordan to try some new things out without it being mm-hmm. too big. And then Massive. like, we're going to take that and bring it back over to the Zoe or something. Because there's like yeah. some really fun stuff over there's there. There's some really cool stuff that's going to be in there. So there's going to be a full-on puppet theater in there. Like, it's nice. going to be... It's gonna be really cool, mm-hmm. and um, I'm excited because there's a lot more special effects in that room that are gonna yeah. be happening. Um, technically, more than Zoe. Yeah. Technically, it's a, um, lot, it's a it's more detail oriented because of how small it is, but it lets you like take it all in yeah. compared to here, which is go in one room, get the fuck out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and I think that like with that, it's more so like. Um, it's, it, I'm not going to be packing people in that room. I'm mm-hmm. not. It, it's meant for a group of six maximum. That's it. Mm-hmm. Like, I, if, if somebody calls and says, I have a seventh, okay, maybe I can make that work. But other than that, that's it. I'm not, six. I'm not having, I'm not smushing people in there. That is, that is, it's, it's an intimate And then how game. many actors are you going to have for that one? Um, one for now confirmed. Um, mm-hmm. if there are, if there is staff from Zoe, I might have a secondary character over there. 
Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, it just depends on like the day and if we can. Right. Um, but as far as for like uh, stuff within like here, because Zoe is all lock and key, mm -hmm. all lock and key. Mm -hmm. There's no mechanics in Zoe, zero mechanics. Um, there's no magnets, there's no nothing, even though like it looks, it seems like that door pops open with the magnet, it doesn't. It's a, it's a gate latch attached to a string that they pull nice. and it pops open on a spring hinge. Like there's a lot of really cool innovative things that we've come up with in this room because we weren't quite ready to take that jump to tech yet because mm -hmm. tech fails. Yeah. Like the yeah. other day we in Rockman we have our first little piece of tech in there, power outage. Ooh. Always something. Yeah. yeah. If, the, if the power went out here, we would just kind of lose our sounds. But yeah. like there, be scary, there mm -hmm. the drop boxes for magnets un unlocked, so like everything was unlocked in the room. Damn. And I gave that group a full refund because I was like, I'm so sorry. But and we 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 did make adjustments to the game. But I am a very oh. honorable person when it comes to the quality of my games that I build and the way that you play the games. So like if if you're not if your game was not perfect. It, it, Liking the game or not disliking the game has no effect in it But if your game did not flow perfectly and there was mistakes and there was mistake after mistake I'm not gonna be that business owner that says sorry sucks for you yeah. Like I'm gonna do something about it. I'm gonna give you complimentary footage I'm gonna mm -hmm. you know give you a partial refund I'm gonna do something because right. that's just that's just who I am right and it's like when friends come play we always give we always give uh, complimentary highlight reel like it is that's just what we do because it's like at the end of the day like I know the value in my work that I present and I want to make sure that everybody feels like okay maybe I didn't get the full experience but they did give me a complimentary game so mm -hmm. at least I got you know at least I got my money back I didn't pay for it and I still had fun you know like and so I just I feel like that's just more along the lines of like getting that tech into the room which has been a big dilemma for Zoe because like it would be very easy to have a mag lock on that door but what if somebody accidentally presses the button or if the mouse was, you know, clicked on it and you just kind of like refresh the mouse and it clicked on it, like mm -hmm. then that door opens too early. And like, there's, there's a lot of things that can happen within tech, which we weren't quite ready to make the jump for that for Zoe. Right. But Pinocchio will be the first room that will have more tech in it than locks. Okay. So it's, it's going to be a very different change and dynamic from Escapade. Um, and I and I and I, I'd be lying if I said I'm not nervous, um, because like I said, tech does sometimes just not work. Um, but the tech that we are getting is going to be semi fail proof, but it doesn't make me any less nervous. Right. Um, because it's like at any moment, if something could just unlock, mm -hmm. um, and then it ruins the entire game flow. So it's very nerve wracking for me. But um, Danny, who works here, he's great. Really great. We love Danny. And oh, we great. love Danny. Danny is basically really crazy. Crazy. Science. when he's not yeah. shocking the crap out of <laughs> yeah, yeah, I funny. was gonna mention that. That's but, a real uh, jigsaw. But he, right he created it. <laughs> so cool. awesome. But he um he's creating like almost a pretty fail proof program because Cool. I'm very nervous about yeah. getting that. Tech it's it's there. a jump for you, like you said. You a big went, jump. You went from like doing it old school to now yeah. introducing the new technology. Because like I that. think that Zoe, if Zoe did have like, there's a couple of things that I'd like to add in. Like I would like to in the original room there was a doll head that dropped from the ceiling and like some dolls that dropped from the ceiling. And I would, I think I would like to bring that back, um, but minimal tech, if any, will be added to Zoe. Um, just because like I just I love the sense of putting a key into a lock and turning it. Like there's nothing like, like imagine yeah. if this door was not a key and it was a keypad. It wouldn't be quite as intimidating as getting the key into the door while you're already shaking and be like, get aside, get aside, shit. And, oh shit, the key's upside down. I'm like, because uh, yeah. we like to do that in here. So the, the, the keys are we're like, yeah. keys, get the door open. I, get the door open, get that door open. Uh, I hate this lock because they put it upside I down. down. Uh, the lock's yeah. upside down. You can't down. put it in immediately. You have to like turn it and then put it what in and then And then you have to down. turn it this way. Oh, so it God. causes that sense of urgency. If it was just a keypad with the magnet unlock, like that wouldn't be as intimidating. Mm -hmm. it so also, it's like it just works with Zoe. It adds on because it's hands on. So yeah. like you really gotta yeah. touch your puzzles and everything, do all that. So it like well, yeah. it's just an added. Fact. It also adds to the theming of this because I'm assuming we're supposed to be in kind of an abandoned house. Right? Yes. Yeah. So like, why would an abandoned house have all this technology? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why so would it have that? So you it's know. like from the '90s too. Yeah. yeah. And like, and at the OG Zoe, there was a couple of tech pieces. Um, it was actually the entire program was in Russian. <laughs> yes. so, if anything went wrong, we were kind of screwed. Yeah. I have the entire game still on a Raspberry Pi. It's literally the entire game awesome. is on that Raspberry Pi. 
We need, and we like, need to look for the original soundtrack on there, too. I know. I just, I don't know how to pull from a pie, but I'll find somebody who can. Oh, Danny probably knows. Probably Danny could. probably could. But, yeah, it, it's it's very sentimental to me, and I don't want anything to happen to it. But, um, yeah, it is it is crazy seeing, like, they have, like, middle like, the electric box. You had to put wires into an electric box mm-hmm. and turn on the power. So, like, that kind of worked within the theming. Like, that still worked. And then, like, there was... Um, a key popped out of a painting like yeah. minimal still still minimal tech mm-hmm. um you line up doll the dolls that are in the memories cabinet into a dollhouse and then it popped open the closet like there was very minimal stuff but i just feel like the i really wanted zoe reborn to be very different from original zoe while still having the same lore and values so mm-hmm. like i couldn't open a game and not have it be better bigger and scarier and so like with having you know og style into the more aggressive assertiveness with reborn has been like it's the feedback from it has been so cool because like there's so i mean i'm sure you all game master so at the end we we ask them did you get the chance to play og and they go yeah but that isn't anything compared to this right. like this was so fun like i mean the, the, and they people literally said you know original zoe was always my favorite game until i played this game wow. and like and that's such an honor you know such an honor and so and i think and you know that's all thanks to them you know like even though i i i made it happen and i created the game they are here every day playing their roles and playing their parts in the room you know and yes i taught them what to do but they i they go out there and do their own crazy thing. So it's like at the end of the day, across like the table yeah. or so I can't I can only right? I can only take credit for the foundation that I taught them. Right. Other than that, the rest of it's all that. I think, I think it's, it's the that. way that the game has grown too. Mm-hmm. From the way that Reborn was when it opened mm-hmm. to what it is now, it's completely different. We yeah. took we like we took a, a different approach when we first opened. So it, it's very much so I think I'm so glad that we made the change that we did. That's how I heard about this. Yeah. Word of mouth. Yeah. Because honestly, these two were the ones that, that sparked yep. that. And then I started hearing more and more and more and then more and then finally Play. we're here, you know? And, yeah. And, and so. I think that's with everybody, though. Everybody around in the community is starting to get to know who we are and what we do. Yeah. And a lot of people think that we're crazy. <laughs> My I, I, do, but I, I get messages all the time. The the neighbors across the street, there's because there's an apartment complex. Oh my like, god! There. They probably <laughs> the, well, they probably know our actual crazy. Moment. Yeah, and like, oh, I think the apartment complex manager came over here and she met us and she was like, "You guys don't seem like Satanists." Like, <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually. What I was like? Okay, like what? <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Bye. Okay, <laughs> my joke. <laughs> my joke. But it was just like, what? Oh, hey, what? Don't I don't seem like, like Satanist. Satanist. Hey. He do not seem like that. I was like, oh, you God. don't seem like Satanist. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm not. Uh, I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I very much love what I do. It's not like, Satanic. Yeah, no, it's not. Not to comment. It was just so funny. <laughs> and then, um, it is so. And then they they were like. The apartment manager there, she's she's kind of she's kind of weird herself. <laughs> but I hope she's watching all, right now. Right? I hope she's watching. This she's is Doctor Satan right here. You're a dude. She's You're like, a dude. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it would happen eventually. <laughs> Which? Oh the changes <laughs> that Which? Zoe has gone through has, has uh, gone for the better. Gone yeah. for the better for sure. And I think that like. In in a year, if people come back and play this game, it'll be evolved even more from then. Yeah, and I think, and I think and I and I enjoy the fact that people are at least like you know because like I mean like Joey, he was very hesitant to come and play, and then he did, and then he was like, oh, this is so fun. Mm-hmm. Like it's yes, you can get shocked, but okay, you'll you'll be all right. I you was know? the same like, way. Like, yeah, I was terrified. Now my girlfriend and I want to come back. Yeah, exactly. I still so hate the like, shock. Yeah, I mean nobody yeah, me likes it. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. But it's, it's like, okay, I got caught. This you time know, if all I right. come in, shock my girlfriend now. Yeah, right. right. But, but, uh, but it's just like, and I, and, I, and I enjoy the fact that, you know, our name is getting out there. Like, I saw, like, it was a very cool moment. And actually, Ross is the one that pointed this out to me. When you had po- posted, um, you know, there was a whole bunch of big haunt names, like Queen Mary and Knotts and... Um, and uh, Hayride, and then all of a sudden Zoe Reborn right there too. Nice. So, and so uh, we were like, that's so cool. Like seeing us up there with like a, all the other main haunts because that's not what we really want. We want to just get our name out there and let you know like, 
Yeah, it's gonna be scary. Yeah. But it's a lot. But it's a lot of fun. It's fun. It's fun. It, and it's like, and it's until you're actually here and you play it that you'll understand. And I, and I appreciate everybody who has been such an advocate for us because we were getting a, a lot. You know, like especially like when people started like especially when you know knots people started working here and it started carrying around you know all of knots mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it, oh, oh they're just trying to be McCain Manor oh they're just trying you know oh that, that's uh, you know oh full contact they're they're waterboarding people there and it's like no no we're not we're uh, not yet I'm and then just Wait. drop into a wall but, yeah. but it genuinely like hurt my feelings like right. hearing like. Oh, it's just, you know, it's it's borderline McKamey Manor, like, and I'm like, no, like, we're, no, we're not, we're not like that. It, it, yes, you're gonna, you might be touched, you might be dragged across the floor, but we're not actually physically hurting. I you think know? that night after I went home, um, I put on a review on, on Yelp, and I I wanted to do it here, but I was like, nah, I got a lot to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I gotta go home and sit down and do mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and I put out a, a very well detailed review, but a very. Um, it didn't give away anything. Yeah. But yeah. it was a good review of just our overall experience. I remember oh, we were reading that. And we're like, oh, you're so sweet. Yeah. And no, that was from the heart because that was like to 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 drop you into a horror movie. You know, mm -hmm. as a horror fan, you've always wanted to see if you could survive said horror movie. Yeah. And this was that opportunity for us to do that. And. Yeah. I, I probably would have died in reality if it was a real horror movie, right. but... I was um, saying here, don't feel that bad. If you were shocked, you probably would have died. Oh, okay. <laughs> Four times. Nico, Nico would Four die. Oh my God. I would never die. No, Nico, <laughs> he was playing the... Nico no, plays, he lays in the middle of the floor. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of the way! He's like, I'm a ghost. I'm a corpse. You like, see me. But, like, I think Christina and Doran really do a, a great job with, like, teaching us and showing us how to do things and also it's like everyone here no one wa like none of us want to see anyone in the game gets hurt if you ever see us when someone actually does get hurt like it i think that's like the one moment that will truly get mm -hmm. us to drop out of character not even like fully but like to a moment of like oh fuck are you okay but like we won't say anything it's still like that very like we're still in character depending on like the severity of it but like mm -hmm. i i grab people's head to make sure like is it okay? Mm -hmm. Feel if there's any bleeding? Yep. There's nothing there. Like it's just like sweat. It's like okay, pat their head a little bit. Like oh, we're gonna get hurt yeah. and then walk away. Even, even like, as game master, uh, hey investigators, check on your friend. Make yeah. sure that they're okay. Mm -hmm. uh, even yeah. if they're crying, hey, make sure your friend's good. Like because it's all yeah. about yeah. like teamwork mm -hmm. inside yeah. the house here. And not only that, but we get people that tap out all the time. As soon as we walk in the backstage, we literally look at them. You're good. You're safe. Here's the office. Go ahead and have a seat. Do you would you like any water? Yeah. Like immediately yeah. drop character and you're, and you're just like, you're good, breathe, you're good. I, I literally watched Joey not that long ago. There was a girl that was crying and tapping out and Joey was playing Zoe and he was like, breathe with me, breathe with me, you're good, holding her hands, like you're good, you're good. Okay, go ahead and have a seat back in the office. Cause it's like, that's just the amount of support that like we want to give. Cause we're all human, mm -hmm. we're all here. We're just trying to have a good time. We're trying to provide you a good time. And it's like, yes, we're going to be scary. We're going to be intense. But like that moment that you're just people, that's why when people go to the back and like, um, people call me all the time and be like, you sound so nice. And I'm like, no, we <laughs> want you to be our Zoe and I, want you to be our actor. And I'm like, no, you don't. 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 I'm crazy. I'm anyway, crazy. <laughs> when it comes to making sure people are okay, it's like, I know all of us have probably had a moment where we've had to be in character mm -hmm. yeah. and like call someone out. Like there was this one game. I think, Ross, were you here for this? It was you and Clover, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and during body bag, they left one of their friends behind. She was in the corner of Zoe's bedroom just bawling her eyes out. And in character, I sort of like brought the humanity version of himself back. And obviously I was roasting their friends. I was like, your friends left you behind. Like, they're the bad friends. We're trying to get you back. And like, I held my hands out and she took my hands and I picked her up and walked mm -hmm. her to the door of the hallway. I would have, I would have honestly Ooh. laughed at the end of that story if you would have just said I hit the button and then she. Went. No, they, uh, <laughs> no, no, but that's Clover. Cool. Cool. Clover, Clover, Clover tried chasing her back, no. and I was like, if if I had, I probably would have walked her back yeah. and then roasted the friends again. Yeah. But if yeah. I don't want yeah. to like but... tap, uh, tap outs and everything, I hope people know like we don't want you to tap. Out. No, 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 we don't want people to We want you to finish the experience and experience everything. I almost did at the end. Well, and so one. I had to walk by myself. I think everybody has a moment at the end. Yeah. So like one of the things was at the end. And, like we've had like a bunch of people try and tap out, but we're kind of like this you're, you're the at the end. Yes. 
just the keep last going thing. because like, that's what I that's what I that's what I knew. I was like, yeah. I'm at the end. I like this but is it. Now. I'm not gonna lie. There was a moment where I looked at the camera. I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, there, there's been a couple. There's been a couple of times where like people want to tap out, and then we're like, you you can walk with your friend over there. Like go with your friend, and then as soon as we find a spot, we'll cut them off and force a person to go forward. Cause like we don't want you to tap yeah. out, but we're gonna try and get mm -hmm. you as close to the end as we can. Mm -hmm. And yep. Matt and I did that yesterday. We had two girls come out mm -hmm. to do the negotiation. And then I was playing Zoe, he was Robert, and he was like, Zoe, do what you must, and then grab one and walk her all the way back. Mm -hmm. And then going back to having that moment of humanity mm -hmm. with the characters, there was this one game that we had, and it was like random, it was late, it was the last game of the evening, and we had a woman, it was three people in the entire game, and it was me one other actor and then three guests and this woman came all the way back and she sat right here for the negotiation and she couldn't move i wasn't even the one doing the negotiation i was back in the study mm -hmm. and i had to come all the way back because i was like what is going on mm -hmm. i come all the way back here and i like buzz my taser and i look and she's right here i literally had to hold her hand and walk her backwards all the way back to the house we didn't even yeah. do the chase back music and <laughs> I was like, Emma Lee's gonna be creepy, and I'm singing We'll Meet Again as we're going backwards through the house, and she's shaking. And mind you, this woman, smaller than Sage. Like, anybody, I think it was like a Filipino woman too, which makes the whole situation even yes. funny. Yes. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> <the Filipinos. laughs> no, she was horrified. I felt so bad, but we get to the very end and we get to the time I was like, We'll meet again some sunny as I'm pushing her down into the tunnel. Chase music started. I was like, no! And I said, Chase music started. And I felt so started. bad. That's funny. But and then she got to the tunnel and just got to the end. And then she was in hysterics when we met her in the gift shop. I was like, oh my god, it's okay. Can I hug you? She's like, I'm trying to be so brave. I was like, you're okay. I felt so bad. Yeah. But no, it's like, it's amazing what like we're taught. And like, even when we like, we drag people or we bring them to the floor, like we have like, like me, like people like the size of me and Nico, like Christina and Doran has helped us like learn how to like grab people and literally bring them down. Like I've, I've like taken people at like your size. You've taken me down. Yeah. You've taken me down. Yeah. <laughs> taken me down. <laughs> your size. They don't have to, you just use me and you've taken yeah, me right? down. Well, it is like, it's like a level of like using your weight and you doing what you know with like how like bodies work and like how like, like you can like push people's knees back and like even like, you can like really bring them down safely, but like also like, like, hi, you're mine now. Whoop, and like, like really like learning, right? And really knowing like, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 we're adding on to that. Like they did give us that confidence to bring big people down. Oh, like yeah. now I'm at the point where it's like, I just look for the biggest person now. I'm like, okay, where are you? I think we me usually in yeah. any <laughs> group. Yeah, we've all had that moment where we took down our first like huge person and we were just like, oh my God, I'm Superman. Like yeah. it is the most that's, satisfying and that's what, feeling. Going in, that was one of my things coming in was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, Assume that they can't do it, but I'm very curious to see how they are gonna do it with me. Mm -hmm. I was like, how are they gonna pull me out? Because I'm a big guy. Fitting under there was just <laughs> God. It was fun. And um, immediately you got dragged out. I was the first one out, and I was like, okay. I was like, all right. So I see how that's done, and then I saw the floors. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a lot more slippery. Mm -hmm. Slide out. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Actually, actually I had a lot. I was having fun part. at first. I was, yeah. I, was, I was sliding around. I was having fun, and then you know, it got real, real quick. Yeah. yeah. I think <laughs> You were like, you're like, I'd be surprised if they if they're able to drag me. All of a sudden, they did. I think you were like, wait, oh <laughs> like, they, they did. Because I told you, I was like, they will, the no, they will, will. they'll I get you. you. Like I grabbed you and literally you just went around in a half circle and I put you in front of the table. <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, because I feel like this room, like this first scare, sets the tone for what you're about to get yourself mm -hmm. into, and I feel like this room is like the. Oh shit, like this is mm -hmm. not a joke. I'll tell you what was the scariest part for me. Um, it wasn't even the run out here, it wasn't even confronting him. It was going back through the tunnel and confronting her. <laughs> she popped out of nowhere and it yep. just scared the, And then she took she my shoe. That. She takes my shoe. She pops out of nowhere. Oh my god. What's no in the shoes? She fits in these little confined spaces. <laughs> I don't know how she, she, all of a sudden she comes up to me, she's like, look, I fit. 
And I'm like, it's like that, that little cabinet. I was about to say the cabinet. Something in there. So she fits in that little tiny cabinet. And then, and then she'll, she'll just like creepily like come out of it. And I'm like, hell no. One time I was walking through and she popped out. She scared the crap out of me. I mean, and I was great because I always, <laughs> yeah. always test. I wanted to see if I could fit in there. I was like, oh, I can't. And so I, I was able to like close it in on myself because like it has like a weird like latch. It has thing. like a lip thing. So yeah, I, I, I closed it. And then I was going to call out to her. But then I heard her <gasps> walking oh God, and she was coming. And she went to this clock and I was like, did she come in here? I'm like, is she gonna look in here? I was like, I was like thinking, I'm like, no, she has no reason to look here. So I just waited and I heard her like stepping around here and I kicked it down and she's like, what the fuck? How did you get in there? <laughs> oh my god, oh, a so bad crazy. idea. Oh, I know what I'm doing for my next negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you jump off a dresser. Oh yeah. yeah. I was kind of intimidated by that. I'm like, she's yeah. gonna attack me, spider monkey. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, when Sage Joe, is the spider monkey. When Joey got hired, well, even like here. like before Joey got hired, it was like a lot of like trying to test and see what was like pinned to the wall and what wasn't. But when he got hired, we found out that that dresser and then that dresser in there are like really pinned, and that you can like it won't come down like at all. And so it's we like, climb a mm, lot, right? Like, and adding, so like, adding on to it, it's just. It's also these two people as well. Like they, they're like behemoths of height, right? Like six foot two, six yeah. foot five, and they can somehow go underneath that bed. And oh I'm yeah, like, what they, the they, they show yeah. themselves. I'd be struggling over here, like, like hold on, I need a minute. And, and then Ross, Ross, Ross fit, <laughs> but he, he, had, he, he had to get out do, quick. He, he, he did do it though. That's I mean, the thing. He did do it. He got under the bed, but that bed's tiny. It's like it's smaller my, than a twin. Tiny. It's like a tiny <laughs> little. My favorite. Bed. Oh my god, my favorite. Um, so we have another actor. His name is Joseph. We crazy as fuck, but he loves to go under the bed and i was like hey like uh, let's both go under the bed and so he was like I can only he was like well. fuck it let's do it <laughs> and so i i had i wanted to do it with joey but me and joey don't tend to get like working at the same time so i did it with joseph and i i curled myself up he goes in i have his foot like literally like in my lap and i'm like i'm laying on his shoe because there's nowhere else for us to fit and like we were crammed in there they didn't see us under there. I, was I like, didn't see you under the there. Fuck? Like when you when she jumps out with her arm, I literally that was a real reaction. That was yeah. like, oh fuck that. No 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 See no, because so. Sage is smaller than I am. So the way she gets under the bed and the way I do it, we both go in the same yeah. way. But she's so much fucking tinier. That little chest that's inside that room, she can cram herself like behind right it. Behind it. So she, yeah. so you can't. See you can't see her at yeah, all. So and like I, people think that she's real, and they go, "Oh no." Yeah, no, I've had there. I've had people look under the bed and then miss me. Like that's my they, favorite part. Of and I knew there was gonna be well. someone under the bed because the first thing I saw when I saw that bed, I'm like, someone could fit under there. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I don't know who's gonna be under there, but someone. One, gonna be one there. time we yeah. were like hanging out here. I think during like our Christmas dinner or something. And I was like, and I, I told one of our old coworkers, I was like, I think I can fit in the chest. And he was like, yeah. the fuck? And he's like, no, you can't. I was like, I think I can. I can like, I'm, yeah. like, I'm sizing. You're talking about this chest right here, yeah. right? Yeah, the okay. chest. Okay. No, no, girl, my girl? girlfriend thought someone was going to pop out of the chest. Out uh, there. Sure. Jack in the box. Like, boom. No, She's like, yeah. I for sure thought. I'm like, I don't know what's No, it's But no, so like, so I wanted to test it. And like, I have to like get rid of my shoes, but I can fit in there. And I, I shoved myself in and then they, they closed it, dragged it out. And they're like, Christina, we want to show you something. And they were, and she was like, what now? I was and like, then what? and they came out and they, they always come to me with new yeah. shit. And then they pointed at the chest and then Christina and Jordan like looked at it and they were like, "Is Sage in there?" <laughs> and then they opened it and they're like, "The fuck!" <laughs> and I'm like, they're like, "What?" And then like Jordan was like, "I can make a box." <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> box. And oh my goodness, yeah. So it's we so still funny. have yet to have. I know we wanted to use the we wanted to like try for like a negotiation or some kind of moment. I think mm -hmm. we wanted to. I remember we were trying to figure it out. We wanted to try and shove me in the box during like a fake out or something. It was just where it was like, locking her into it, so yeah. she couldn't get out of it. Uh, yeah, and it's like so. then she'd be stuck, literally stuck in there. So we were gonna build like a fail-proof one with like a fake backing, so that, that way she needed to get out, she could just like. Yeah. Right. Like with like a latch from the inside so that way she could just Yeah, like so you can't like cuz like the thing is like really weird to where if it falls down it could get like it could get stuck even if it's open and like not a lot so
but yeah, that trunk. If we tried hiding in it, <laughs> well, yeah. But every you're stuck. everyone at the escape room, it's so fun watching all the new things that people do. Like some of the guys have come up with like really funny stuff. Our favorite, her favorite one that Jacob came up with was the dog barking thing, where we make people get on the ground and we'll like crawl. We'll, my favorite is like you like puppies, and they're like, no, I like cats. I'm like you like puppies, right? And they're like, <laughs> yeah. Like, what sound does a dog make? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, that happened. People that happened. Rage, just like, and it's happened more than once. They're like, like, they're like, name a yellow fruit orange. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, what? And then, then it will be like, it will be like, start barking, and they're like, no, no. Like, what? <laughs> So weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, cool. then there's Ross that makes him a horse. No, but oh game and the Ross rides guests like a horse! <laughs> like game mastering for Ross is really fun. Wait, wait, wait. Freezing! Freezing! Oh, that's not what I meant! You gay ass! <laughs> that's not what I meant! <laughs> uh, one, of the, one of the funniest things though is like Joseph came up with hiding two people under the bed. Uh -huh. So Joseph, well, that's, that's what I was saying yeah. earlier. Me and Joseph hit under the bed. He would pop out, scare them, <laughs> and then I'm just under there like, I'm gonna wait in here for another 20 <laughs> minutes. And I wait, and then they like, they like are doing all these puzzles. And then I come, and then I come out, and they're like, what? It, the lights have been on the whole time. <laughs> so yeah, they don't, they don't recognize it. But, but Nico, you I don't were know how you do it. <laughs> it's so funny. But Nico, you were saying something about I, I don't with know. Ross. And just no game matching for everyone in general. I just like watch it. I don't know, I've taken the more game master route, like, acting is fun and all, but I really enjoy, like, bouncing off people, like, the teamwork mm. and everything. I used to just be a solo act, just because I'm not scary far, but working here, I was like, okay, teamwork, teamwork. is I mean, really fun. Yeah. 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 It's a like, teamwork, it's so, it's so much more fun, and then, like, the game master route, like, I can, like, literally dictate how, like, a scare is gonna go, and then literally play I just gotta wait. What's that? What's that? Watching all the cameras. Yeah, he's, like, our biggest supporter, too. Yeah. Like, In all the beta games of the newbies, we want Nico. Yeah. 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 Everyone wanted Nico. Nico is like, we like, have so many games this week. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it all, and I thought it was an honor to just be, like, their first beta game, their first official yeah, game. Yeah, that's true. Like, like, that he's... first beta game really is that moment for you where it's like, right. okay, like, I'm getting signed off today. <laughs> like, it's exciting, because you... you for, they all get a beta, and they all get to like bring their friends, and they get a beta, and like that that beta is their first real game where they are the main actor, and they are they can choose a double. So like if, if it's a Zoe, they can choose an Uncle Robert if they would like an Uncle Robert and a Joseph. It's up to them, mm -hmm. but it's their chance, and then they get signed off. Yeah. And it is it's a big it's a big deal I right. think for for all of them because then they get they get that satisfaction of like. Your friends are here, and it's the first time that they get their two dollar little bump on yeah. from the reviews, and yeah. like it's it it's it's exciting, and it's and it's very it's very much so like we have like little traditions that we kind of picked up along the way because I didn't used to do uh, betas. Yeah. I, I kind of provided you, a beta you, group. You yeah. did it. Matt uh, you did it after. I pretty much started. Matt started. Yeah, Matt Literally. started because like when I got hired, me and Miles, we kind of came. At a really chaotic, yeah. weird time because I, I, I went on vacation. Like, yeah, they were on like, vacation. We were still in the November season, so people were still like kind of coming yep. through. Um, and I think I was uh, November, October, October, November was around that time I got hired. But um, yeah, it was still really chaotic, and so me and Miles didn't get beta. And I remember like my pseudo beta was like. Jordan and Christina were basically watching it, and Christina was uh, game mastering for it. And I think it was it was the other podcast group with Ross. Ross and JJ. Ross mm -hmm. and JJ. Uh, they came. They it was like my first like real game. I like I had done a bunch of games before then, but that game was like kind of like the pseudo beta, mm -hmm. and it was with them. Beta. And that, there was like a, a video on TikTok where I I uh, chased someone around this table. Uh, I think it was during Wander Scare yep, or something it was. It was. And so he was running around and I was chasing him and then like like he ran into there. It was so funny, but it was like so sudden. That game was so sudden because Christina was like, stage game costume, you're you're acting. I'm like what? And yeah. I had I didn't have my clothes with me because I um That was from your first day? No, no, that was my no, first no. day. It was like uh my week. That was probably but I, like a like a month in. Yeah, and I, like I, didn't, I didn't okay. have I was like what the mind? I think it was, <laughs> I think it was like like around two weeks or Maybe three two, weeks. Yeah, two or three. Well, because I it was I, too early. I was gone for two weeks, so it must have been at least I three think, weeks. I think at least I, three weeks that you were here. Yeah. Because you were here. You started, and then I went on vacation, and then I put the old manager in charge of training you, which mm. that failed. <laughs> 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 it worked out for safety. I was like, it worked out amazing for you. It worked out for 
Yeah. 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 Ye
I think we're ready for a new Zoe. <laughs> it was it was like a weird mixture of like I think during the Krampus years and there was like a yeah. lot happening inside Zoe mm-hmm. when that was all happening and like I think I was just like I was getting like sucked up in my own head during that time. Yeah. Cause like there was a lot of like drama kind of happening and then there was like these this level of expectation of us me and Miles to know everything but Miles was like I it, it felt like um like he was like still taught everything but like. It felt like there was a lot heavier weight on me from mm-hmm. some people. And it was all about, like, why don't you know this? You need to know this. Learn this. Figure yeah. this out. Do this. Do this. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay. And, like, it was, like, first week was hectic as fuck. Yeah. Was, like, a couple times I was just, like, asking, can I come in? Can I come in? Can I come in? I took, like, I missed Joey's birthday because of it and everything. Yeah. And I, like, it was just, like, a, a congregant of, of all kinds of stuff. And, um... Joey said he's still hurt by that, by the way. Right. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, Trust yeah, me, yeah. Sage sent me a video from here. He was like, I'm so sorry. Because it was on uh, my 21st surprise birthday party. Yeah. So they, everyone had been plenty of the, the last manager refused to let me go. Despite me literally asking. I yeah. will literally come in every day this week for free. Just and I wasn't here. Go. So I didn't know about yeah. any of these situations. So, so like, like the first week was very much so because like, I, I had put the manager in charge of training her, but then everybody that was here kind of collectively decided, we're all going to teach her. And, like, yeah. that was the wrong approach to take because it, yeah. it became yeah. very much so. Like, I think it was just because the guys were excited that they had a Zoe here finally. And yeah. I think that... Which everyone they, worked so well But they well projected with. it wrong. <laughs> yeah. They it projected was... it in the sense of, like, you have to do this, you have to do that. Like, this is how things go. And I think that it was yeah. very much so, like... But then when I came back in, I was like... That's, that's not her character. Yeah. yeah. So it, it was, she's it was not Uncle Robert. She doesn't need to be that assertive. She right. needs to be more playful, more, you know, and I think that making those adjustments helped a lot when I finally came home. And then we got rid of all the problems that were, uh, yeah. No one, no, one, no one really, like, I guess, took the time. Like, Ross. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. crazy. That's fucking crazy. More. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh, my God. But, I've only had to, like, go of a few of employees. Yeah. A few. But, um, but it's had to happen. No, during, during that time, no one really went around and taught us every part of the room. It was kind of like... Hey, we've got games today. You're shadowing us. Figure it out as we go. And it was a lot of like watching them, learning it. Like, hey, can I try resetting this? Is this right? Is this okay? And then like, I think some of the guys like when you start acting this game, it can be kind of stressful. Being you're on this rhythm and you're trying to like keep it all going. And when you've got like a saboteur person or someone new trying to watch, it's like your rhythm changes, and it's really hard to sometimes like process what they're mm-hmm. doing, making sure they're able to learn from it, but then making sure nothing's wrong, because if it goes wrong, it's fucking your fault, and so it's like, yeah. I think a lot of that was like, them trying to help me as best as they could, but then also trying to figure all this other stuff out, and it's very hard, and then there was like, it was it was a lot, and um, I, I I really did care a lot for Zoe and everything, and Krampus was you stuck through. Oh, a mess, but no, I'm, I'm so thankful we have more people playing Zoe, and it's really fun, and I guess like a part of me was also nervous with the idea of being the only Zoe because there was no, there was nothing for me to copy. There was nothing for me to follow. There was no past line. I, um, we had one of our own managers. She had a Zoe costume from OG Zoe, but she never really wore it often. Like it was kind of like Christina had a Zoe costume, but she would go in like every other every, full moon. Yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally pretty much. When we first opened Reborn, I didn't, I didn't have a place for a Zoe because yeah. in the original story. Um, in the continuation, I didn't know how to continue. Like this was more of Uncle Robert's story in the, yeah. in the sequel, mm-hmm. and it still is more of Uncle Robert's story in the sequel. But I, I just couldn't find the right place for Zoe. So we used to have like um, like a um, little like sp- like on the speakers, like Zoe's voice would talk throughout. She was more of like an entity in the room when we first opened. But right, um, but but and I wanted to kind of keep that. Um, but then I was like, no, I, I was like, that's when, you know, I met Sage and I was like, okay, she's my Zoe, you know, she's, yeah. she's my Zoe. And I think that like, that was obviously like, I think that, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm a person that thinks everything happens for a reason. Oh yeah. And yeah. I think that that stress made you better. Yeah. And I no, think it that helped stress... me like be able to have like a, a tougher skin mm-hmm. with a lot of things. And like, it was, 
a crazy uh, couple months, mm-hmm. but like. It, but I wonder how things would have gone differently if we would oh, yeah. if we would have waited till I got home from vacation oh, and my, had yeah. training then. And it's so much while weirder. I, I I liked I I am so grateful for how everything went. I don't think I would ever go back. Yeah, yeah everything like think, like you said, everything happens for a reason. And like if those things didn't happen, it wouldn't have made me who I am today. And like mm-hmm. I and like it was like so new of a concept that my audition was literally the Uncle Robert audition. Mm-hmm. They told me here here's the page. It was mm-hmm. Uncle Robert. There was no Zoe. It was just the lines. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll do like female Uncle Robert or something, because like, I didn't know what the lore mm-hmm. was with this thing. And then they were like, okay, so read it, but do it as Zoe, and change up some of the words. And I was like, the fuck? I was yeah. like, what? And I was like, just wing it. I was like, um, okay. I was like, so like, it was like, it was bad. I'm, I'm, very, oh much so, I'm very much so about improv. So oh like, my God. And all of them here, like, um, they all know that like, I'm always like, even even when like I do auditions, I could tell from your first sentence whether or not I want you as a as yeah. an actor potentially because I I and I'm looking for that sense of direction because um, every single audition I'll sit here and I'll explain the character, I'll explain the, how I want you to sound, what I want you to you know stuff like that, I'll explain the, the little bit of the background, and usually they get exam an example read. So usually they'll get they'll come and they can watch an example read, and then I want them to kind of shadow that and like make it their own but shadow it, mm-hmm. and I could tell right off the bat. You know whether or not they have the potential that I need. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's. It, I mean, you said since you play, it's loud in here. That yeah. music gets loud. Mm-hmm. They need to be. I was singing jazz, along the whole time. Right? So I heard the music. And I was like, <laughs> I know this song. Yeah, and you always do that song. Yeah. <laughs> you should, if you ever hear it out, you'd be like, Zoe. Yeah. You should, you should have been here when we had Sandman. Oh, I love that yeah, song so we did, much. We did change that one out. We'll, we'll bring that back for help. Yes, for help. I love Sandman. It's like, and it's like it's like mm-hmm. and Mr. Sandman slowed down and like with a different all the songs. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I'll never listen to Johnny Cash the same right? ever again. Uh-huh. No. But, so I was like, Ring of Fire will never be the same to me anymore. No, I still it's, love so, that's music. that's actually a <laughs> funny story. So a lot of things in the room are like resonated with like my family. And like JRCN is Joran, um, Robert, which is my dad and my brother, mm-hmm. um, me, Christina, and then Nicholas, my other little brother. So like, um, Jerkin. Jerkin. <laughs> but, uh, there's, there's a lot of significance. 6293 is an inside joke between, um, my, uh, my family and I like, and like, there's a lot of different things. And so when we put, um, there's an old YouTube video of my brother when he was like eight years old and he used to not be able to say his R's. He was, it was like it was like a W sound, yeah. and so he decided that he was gonna go on stage on a carnival cruise ship, and he was gonna sing karaoke. And what song was he gonna sing? Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. Look at all the R's so, in that movie, yeah, that yeah. So he came out as Wing of Fire, and he couldn't like he couldn't. <laughs> we're not no no so he's, fire. Yeah, so he's on stage, and we make fun of him for till this day because like it was he was young, he was cute, he had to go speech therapy for it, but whatever. <laughs> But he's fine now. He can say his R's. <laughs> and his name is also Robert. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so then all of a sudden he was like, he was like two or three, and he said that he was like, my, call me Bobby now. <laughs> so, so we all call him Bobby. And, uh, and so it, it's funny because then I was like, so I put Ring of Fire in the room. Because so funny. like, just to have like, you know, significance to myself and like my family and like, because like, I couldn't have done this entire thing without. I, maybe they've all met my family. My family come by and they'll watch games. They love it here. Like rock band mom is yeah. Oh yeah, they love it. I play rock band. I remember we were talking game. about last time mm-hmm. about for your dad and everything. Oh yeah, my dad, my dad, my dad sat there. There's a there's a vinyl uh, poster wall in rock band, and he sat there with uh, one of the employees, Leo, and he was like, I've seen this one four times. I've seen them three times. I was at one of Queen's last performances that to, that to ever exist. With I've Freddy? seen Journey twenty times. Yep. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Like my dad has seen all, all the great wow. all the greatest. So in it so and Leo's just sitting there like Because that's my thing. I won't I, I won't see Queen without Freddie. Yep. I won't. Yeah. I, Adam Lambert, all respect to him. I, I love Adam Lambert. No, I get it. I, I love not, Adam Lambert, but it's not Queen. Yeah. So I and I think that like but my parents have been such a big support and family means like a lot to me, which is why like I have my family and then I have my family mm-hmm. and like I take, go to bat for all of them like if I need to, like I will defend their, I will defend their honor in any way It's possible. my favorite part of the night is looking at your story and seeing what chaos you guys got. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I was going to a oh, restaurant yeah. yesterday with me and full <laughs> yeah. That was hilarious to me because I've done that with somebody before with tricks. 
Uh, <laughs> in full blown makeup oh right God. after an event, and everyone, kids, every, we were at a Denny's, and everyone was just staring at us. Trix, she wears all her prosthetics and everything, yeah. and I'm just sitting here like, this is freaking hilarious. Yeah. Like, it was so funny. Time. So we're all, we're all, it was like a nice little like family diner too. It wasn't yeah. it wasn't like a Chili's. It was like a family diner right down the street, downtown Fullerton, and and it was so funny because then Martin sends me a message and says. Oh, it looks so nice of you to bring the crackhead from under the bridge to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Mark and I watched this. <laughs> and I was laughing hysterically. It was so funny. But it was just like, oh, I'm just bringing my golf friend along with me. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. A quick shout out though, but uh, the person that did the makeup is right Oh, uh, yeah. 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 The makeup that he does is insane. Insane. And like I had always talked because um because the last the, the manager that was here had always talked about Ross had always talked about like oh he does special effects stuff he here's here's a makeup profile and I was like damn okay and then but then she was like oh but he lives in the Philippines and I was like dang no no dang okay, okay. okay. No, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait 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 But then this year, uh, that's when he had applied to work here. And I was like, all right, you're, you're in. You can come. Yeah, I kept playing like, Christina, please, please, let him in. Please, please. <laughs> that email, Christina, like, he I'm probably, and then she was like, she's like, he's 6'5". <laughs> he's 6'5". You love those. That's the seller right there. He's 6'5". Like, oh, my God. You're uh, higher. You should have seen her. All right. I was like. No, no. Oh, like, like during the day of the audition, you were like beyond early. Like there was no. <laughs> yeah. He was the first time when he came to the open call, yeah. and so and so he and, and after that email, like oh, I'm Filipino, I'm built different, I could be there. Like, <laughs> like I'll, I'll work knots and this at the same time, and like and it was so funny because I was like I was like all right, I'll see you, I'll see you at the open call, and uh, and I literally responded. So it was like he sent me this long. Like long in detail email. I want to say it's at least like four paragraphs about, <laughs> about his work ethic, like how badly he wanted he really to work wanted here. Really wanted a job, huh? And it was so funny because I was like, I'm gonna be a little bit like here. I was like, <laughs> I was like I'm just gonna you know, because I play I play a little hard to get game. I do, and so that I, and that all I responded back was just see you on Monday. <laughs> like, <that's laughs> and, I was, and I was tweaking about it. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, uh, <laughs> Every single one of us here has like crawled, scratched, and fought for a spot to fucking work. I'm hard to get. I'm hard to get. Crazy, because we have people ask us all the time, like, how the fuck did you get that job? On your knees and begging. I'm very picky. I'm very picky. So you need you need a custodian. They get just walk back into the other room. <laughs> Sweet, but <laughs> sorry. Right. Just reset it. Would you like ghost me? Okay. No. no. Put me in the bathroom. So when the guest walks in, before, be like, "Are you sure you want to do this?" Oh, have you seen the new bathroom? No. Oh, oh I'll show you. I have to show you. Afterwards, right there, afterwards, right afterwards, yeah. afterwards. But yeah, so no, like, if but yeah, it's just, oh. it, it, and I, and it's, it's so funny because it's like I. I, I, I joke around and I say that I play hard to get, but like it, it is a tough process to, to start to work here. As for I, any audience. I am very, I, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm picky, I'm, I'm particular with who I do hard. Yeah. Not only do I need you to be a good actor and handle, because I, I need you to be able to handle situations. You know, what are you going to do if a guest does hit you? Are you going to hit them back or are you going to just walk away? Like, what are you going to do? You know, like, there's, there's a lot of situations where I need to make sure that like you're a good person, you know, and like, and I, and I think that like, I, I have such a solid team. I have such a solid team. Like I said, not just the Forsaken group, which they, they're all great, but mm -hmm. my entire staff too. Like everybody, and and they've all become such good friends. And like, and, and I'm, I'm very much so an advocate of like, I'll take care of you. Yes, you are my employees, but you're my family, you're my friends, and I appreciate all of you, and I care, and I love all of you equally. And I will go to bat for you, and I will do whatever I can to help you in any situation. 
Um, but there have been situations where somebody has gone against that trust. And, you know, and a lot of us have, have lost a couple of, you know, staff members here that we loved and we cared about because they went against trust. And that's a big thing for me is like, don't lie to me. That's like my like big thing. And so all of them have had to deal with that at some point where they've had to sit down and be like, okay, here's what happened. And, and, it, and it sucks. Like you don't necessarily want to tell the truth to somebody sometimes, but there's been some times where I've gotten some text messages. I don't want the BS of like, so, oh, I'm of oh, traffic. I'm running late. Like, tell me why you're late. What's going on? Yeah. What's going on? You, you've called me many a time to ask me about stuff. Like, and I'm just like, this is exactly yeah, how this it is. is what this is what happened. This is, and it's like, just tell me the truth. I don't care how hard it is, but you tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. And like, have you ever had I, someone send you a photo from the freeway? Like, no, dead ass. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've had people send me pictures. I've had people, literally, uh, Jacob, one of our employees called me the day. I'm so sorry. I was taking a shit. It took longer than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know way. call you here a flush right <laughs> i have straight up facetimed you from my bed like mm-hmm. um i know my shift started but i just woke up mm-hmm. i'm gonna get over there as fast as i can yeah and, and you're like okay we have to get back this time you better be zoe yeah. when you get there. better better get there but like it's I, I, that's just how like i'm super understanding until there's like a point where mm-hmm. i'm like okay not, right, not right. As, i'm not quite as understanding anymore. now i want I you guys all to say something nice about her <laughs> okay, I will, I will never question her judgment of character. I remember I was questioning that one part. person. I was questioning Leo. Oh my like, goodness, yeah. yeah! I was questioning what? Leo. I was the one! I fought for Leo! Yes, if you watched me, this. I did too. I, <laughs> Leo, if you watched this, I fought for your ass. I, I was trying to, I was like, dude, give him my chance! He's not that bad. <laughs> so I was questioning because- You were one of the better enough. ones in audition, so. Yeah. I was questioning Leo. I was like, uh-huh. this guy's pretty weird, I don't know. The <laughs> <laughs> we all told him this, so he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can, you know, mess with this guy or no. Comes to like know about him, talk mm-hmm. to him more. I'm like, God damn it, I you, love him now. I love him. I love him. I love being, need, I love being on ship with him. No, it's need, so fun. You need to say what the, uh, and your guy. So, the three so reasons. There, there's, there's, oh, it's yeah, three reasons. There's, so there's so. In the audition, we had the uh, the script reading where you like the cold read, and you have to read it, and then you're done. And then you go back and you talk with Joran, and uh, Nico was there helping him. And it's like a basically there's, more personal interview. There's three reasons. And, mm-hmm. There's three reasons. Joran asked him like, "What's what, why is it? What's the three reasons for why we should hire mm-hmm. you?" I think it was. And there's three reasons yeah. where it is. He was like, <laughs> I remember. I remember it pretty good. He was like, "Oh, I'm a passionate guy. Like, I think I could do this. Like, I'm so passionate. I'm like, okay." And all of a sudden, he's like, I'm a funny guy. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then, then the third one is like, I'm tall. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you're tall! Yeah. 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 Tall squad. Tall. Wait, tall. wait, wait, wait. Wasn't the, the second one, it wasn't funny. Wasn't it, I'm handsome? I'm handsome. He said, was, I he said it was either handsome or like, I was like yeah, funny. Like, I saw him. Yeah. I was like, 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 good no. Looking. <laughs> he said, I'm good. I think I'm good looking. Okay. Yeah, I'm good looking. You are. Yes. I think you're wearing a mask most of the game. And, so, and, right? now, okay. and now when I look back at the three reasons, I was like, damn, he was right. He was He was right. 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 He was so on a whim, like, we ha- Honestly, our audition was weird. Cause, cause he was just like, oh yeah. Just come in. Just, just come in. Just show up. That's how mine was. Like I did the saboteur, and you were just like, "What's your availability? Come in this day." Yep. And I was the only one auditioning. Yeah, Jacob was a player, and at the end of the game, he was like, "I think I applied to this place on Indeed like a long time ago." And I was like, "You still looking for a job?" He was like, "Yeah, yeah." And then his friend, all of his friends were like, "Yes, he needs a job." <laughs> yeah. And so then I was like, "You want to come in on Tuesday?" And I was like, "Tuesday at five thirty. He was like, "He's like." Okay, yeah, I'll be here. And then he shows up Tuesday at 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't that par for the course. Yeah. I'm like, isn't that Jacob for you? <laughs> and, then, and then he goes, and then he goes, he goes, wait, I thought you said 6.30. I was like, I said 5.30. And he, but he was here at 6.30. So clearly he must have just misheard. One of these he days yeah. when, when you, you just, you want to really mess with this whole cast, you just need to walk around with a clipboard and just start writing. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. They, okay, like, like, I tell, I, I mess with them, and but and, I, and they are family to me. But like at the same time, like they eagerly do not want to get in trouble. Like all of them, like they very much so will. They will be like, it's this person's fault. Like they will like literally get all. They will throw each other under the bus. These two, no hesitation. Yeah. No hesitation. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That was because of this. They are so quick. And
and so they whenever I'm just like I, I'll give them a look. I give them like that mom look, and they're like, shit. Like they're all like, I was like, I didn't do it. <laughs> yes. My grandpa used to give me the same look. When he knew he was mad at you. You just like, fuck, I fucked up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or then, or literally, yeah. all of them, and I'll, I'll come and I'll be like, and I'll just walk away, and all of them go. Fuck! <laughs> she closes the door all dramatic, right? She closes the door all dramatic, and you look in the camera feed. I show she goes on her phone, she's just all smiling. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll be nosy. We'll be like, wait, we haven't heard from Christina in a minute. And we'll like look at the cameras, and we're like trying to find her in a uh -huh. fucking building, and we can't find her. We're like, fuck. One of these things. You see a pop up on one of the cameras. Like, we're like dead in the eye. Like, or or Christina and Drew would be like, hey, can you come in our office for a second? Ah, hey, oh, we're <laughs> It's either someone else is in trouble or you're in fucking trouble. No in between. Sometimes it's good news. Yeah. Sometimes. What? <laughs> what? what? No, it's like, like what? yeah, good news. Sign the waiver again. Exactly. <laughs> but, oh my god. Yeah. And I, I, I think that like I, they, they very much so like even though we're very cool with each other and I love them all, they they very much so don't want to disappoint me, which is also a nice feeling because it's like they very much so I could feel. That they do look up to me, and I can feel yeah. that like they, you know, they do respect me, even yeah. though it's like we mess around and they're assholes to me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but at the end of the day, when, it's the end day when it comes to being professional, they, they, know, they know they're stuff. They know, and, yeah. they, and they know that like if they're like shit, you know, oh man, I, I have some Christina. Yeah, there's there's been some hard conversations between some of us, you know, where it's like because I will apologize to them if I was wrong, and they'll mm -hmm. apologize to me, and like there's there's because at the at the end of the day, like. It, nothing runs perfectly, and if something does go wrong, I'll be like, hey, like, I, I said don't do that. And mm -hmm. they'll be like, okay, I'm sorry, like, I, I'm really working on it, you know, and, and there will be some honest and sometimes some tough conversations. I've had heart to heart to hearts with almost all of them, you know, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. at, at the same time, it's like, and, and not only that, but I'm, I'm your, I'm your, I am your boss, but I'm your friend, and not only that, but I'm going to help you get to your next step in life, no matter what. Like, yeah. I'm going to help you get there, which is why I'm such an advocate for, like, you know, you know how many times that they've called me and been like, "What do I do?" And like, and it's something personal, or it's something like, like that really doesn't. I mean, it could involve best people, maybe not. And like, because, and I think that because I've been there as like almost like a parent figure of like, here's what I think you should do, and I always give my honest opinion, and I will never give a biased opinion of escapade versus mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Like, there's been there's been a lot of situations. Like, I think that like, like just in general with everybody here, like oh like. I have this or like there was a conflicting schedule oh, yeah. just the other day where it's like where uh, they were six flags put Joey on the schedule last minute but I needed you know I needed him here mm -hmm. um, so it was and so it was just it was a it was a big mess but we figured it out because that's what mm -hmm. we do we figure it out mm -hmm. and at the end of the day I want I'm not gonna take away that opportunity from Joey at six flags because I know how strict that they are and they say if you don't show up once like you're done yeah. so it's like I'm I'm willing to make that work but I'm like got to work with me back mm -hmm. you know so it's like it, it it's very much so like I'm never gonna take away an opportunity from any of them here if it's between escapade and like a growing opportunity I will never ever ever come between that well let me ever. talk uh, when everyone that I've talked to that I've talked to in the past year which is Joey Sage Matt mm -hmm. have all said great things about you <laughs> even when we were one-on-ones and there was nothing but positive things about you you know talking to you prior to playing the game you know I can already sense that of how much of a creative mind you had, how amazing of a person you were, and how how much I wish you were my boss, you know? <laughs> but, um, no, and then playing the game, seeing everything we talked about prior to that on the show, and then playing the game, and then kind of seeing it for myself, mm -hmm. and then kind of seeing how much you take everything into really heart, and, and everything as far as the game goes, and everything, yeah. the safety, all that stuff. And then now sitting here, being invited back, thank you by the way, this has been of course. an awesome no, lesson. It's, it's fun. <laughs> uh, to be invited back and to sit in this room to talk with everyone here has just been, uh, it's been great. Uh, I remember when we were doing, a few weeks ago on the channel, when we were doing the whole week, you know, with, with just Zoe Reborn and just mm -hmm. kind of all that fun stuff, you know, and I don't know, I, I think when you have a, a family bond like that, there's really nothing that could take you down. Yeah. Uh, I think a famous comedian once said, you can have, all you really need is four or five real motherfuckers to take over the entire world. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. you don't need a whole army. You nope. just need like some real ones there real that will ones. go with you into war and do anything for you. Mm -hmm. And I see that here. 
I do. I mean, everyone loves to be here. Uh, everyone loves to do what they do here. Everyone likes to be part of that creativeness here. Yeah. And it is just a huge creative space uh, for everyone here. Like, yeah. to be them, to be themselves, more importantly. I That's feel so like, important to me. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like we live in such a world where people judge like crazy mm -hmm. and stuff. But True. when you're getting to work at a place where you know it's going to be the same interests as you, mm -hmm. the same things you love, uh, what creativeness you can bring to the table for mm -hmm. that. Like you said, you gave her the freedom to kind of create the character. You yeah. gave her the footprints and you gave her the blueprints of this is the character, mm -hmm. this is everything. Do your own thing. Yep. All of you. You yeah. guys all had that creative freedom to bring your characters to life. Much of like these haunts and stuff like that where you have the idea to submit characters, bring your characters to life. Mm -hmm. Christina gave you guys and, I, and, and that whole platform, that whole world to just take what I did with Zoe and let, let's make it more you guys. Let's make it all us and let's put on one of the greatest goddamn shows in the world. Yeah, That's and it. because of uh, Christina and Joran's like willingness to let us be free to do as we want, like yeah, there's like the baselines, but then otherwise it's like, you guys know how the game works, do with it as you will, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. because of that, like we've all like made, we've all done our own new thing, and it's like, oh, I like this, oh, I like this, and then everyone else sees it, and they're like, ooh, I like that too, mm -hmm. I'm taking that, I'm taking that, and then like, we all like, build on top of each other and like it definitely feels like a different escape room compared to like when I first got hired mm -hmm. like it's changed drastically and we've done so many new things where it's like um like like the under the bed scare now it's kind of like if there's a Zoe or like if there's someone if there's a second actor available who can fit under there you should it's be under the bed thing. get under there it's or something one of the new staple scripted mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. that yeah. if Zoe is here <clears throat> Nine times out of ten, if it's someone who has not played the game before, she will be under the bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then if there's like, if, if there's another actor, you should be in that study. You, uh, like, mm -hmm. we have like a, a, re, a way of doing wander scare, having someone go back in. Like, it's, it's very much like these, there's so many new ideas and so many new things that everyone has come up with that it's like, like, what do I want to do today? There's this option, there's this option. Oh, we could try this new mm -hmm. thing. And it's just like, it's just become a, like such a huge staple to what Zoe is as a whole. Like it's evolved and changed drastically, and that's purely due to things of Christina and Jordan just like letting us go at it and having fun. And like there are some moments where it's like that's a bit much. Let's not do that. Or like <laughs> oh, relax. So. And then there's some moments where it's like you know what? I like that. Just do it like this, and it'll it'll work. Mm -hmm. It'll be good. And it's like okay. It yeah, like it. a certain scare might not fit in a certain room, but it might work in another room. Yeah. Kind of thing, you know so. Yeah. No. No, I, I, I've enjoyed it. I, I me and my girlfriend have been wanting to come back. When that will be, I hope soon. I got a nice fly friend coming around here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah I've been watching it this entire time. I know. Like, hey, <laughs> he's he's in the podcast, man. He's <laughs> yeah. Um I would love to sit here and do another two hours. I really would. Oh man. <laughs> but it seems like I have to be an adult in thirty minutes and go to my my adult job. Oh adult. Yeah. yeah. Adult I got some adulters here today. It sucks. Sucks. Well, maybe not. Let's not say adulterers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Sage, you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, Sage, Sage took my shift because I was scheduled to go do something else. But I'm, I'm not gonna be here. I <laughs> think I'm not gonna fucking. Go. Oh, good, you're here. Oh, good, get in. <laughs> right. Uh, but for those uh, that are new on this podcast, which is you two. I always do a thing at the end of my show where I ask the, the hardest question. <laughs> the hardest, probably. <laughs> Some people struggle with this question. Oh, it's, we struggled for a bit for this it's one. Gonna, it's, it puts you on the spotlight. What's your favorite scary movie? The thing. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The old one, 1982. There's an older one, you know that, right? Really? There is. Well, well, thing well, from Another World. Yep. Ooh. That's the original, oh, but the John Carpenter one is the best one in my opinion. Well, I think, I think Eric actually just recently showed us the thing. Yeah. Uh, that was really... Like, Still holds really up to this day. It's so yeah. cool. It is it's such very a good. And it's like, I don't know, for like newer people, it's literally Among Us. It's literally it Among Us. Like, <laughs> it's really, it, I like, was like, who is, oh the, who is the alien? Yeah. Well, we, literally, we literally just watched the new Alien Romulus and all of us were watching so the, good. the ending. We were like, this is... Oh my god, yeah. that terrified the And they give you ideas? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I need Zoe to Romulus. No, Zoe Romulus. Zoe Romulus. Zoe Romulus. Zoe Come in here. Yeah. No, make that joke. Imagine somebody going through the door and having to cry. Underneath. That's yeah. something you see. Make him play Zoe. Make him yeah. play Zoe. Make him play Zoe. Make him play Zoe. Make him play Zoe. Oh, so imagine somebody having to duck underneath the door frame and like put their if, ha if, hand up. Also, if, if Winston was taller. Yeah, Winston, right. Winston's tall. Yeah, What's your favorite no. scary movie? 
Mama 2013. I have not heard that one. That's a good one. No, I've seen it. Okay, I know yeah. it. The Gilmore but, Girl one, right? Yes, exactly. I don't hear that answer very often. That's a very underrated movie in my opinion. It's very sad. Girl, anything Girl awesome. Turo, you have me sold. True. So. <laughs> well, with all that being said, let's go around. Let's. Where can everybody follow you guys on, on social media? As a whole, we know. Yeah, as, as a, a whole, whole uh, as games. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But if you guys want to individually, because yeah, I know you guys, do, you guys got your own journeys this whole I guess season. I guess I'm sorry, man. Basically, it's just Instagram, uh, matt.emerick117. I'll be posting Scary Farm stuff this year, so definitely check out that. Probably more Escapade stuff as the time goes on, but hope to see you there. Uh, you can find me on Instagram as well, stage.size, which is S-Y-T-H-E. Uh, and yeah, I kind of post some stuff. I like to post. I recently posted a Zoe uh, post on there, a little Zoe appreciation, which was fun. Mm. But yeah, I like to post some stories on there. Uh, for me, you can find me on Instagram as well. And for my scary stuff, it's creepy underscore catawampus. Oh, um. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, um, Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm right. shy. I guess uh, Instagram, I'm Nico okay. Pistachio, and then it's pretty much it. <laughs> nice. And then my Instagram is Vogan underscore Ross. That is my personal account, since most of everyone cannot spell Vogan. <laughs> we go by our my makeup account. It's Ross underscore SFX, and I post most of the makeup I do here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's really Which fun. It's insane to see. Yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. cool. There's, a, that tonight. there's yeah. a new post from this morning. There's going to be a new one tonight. So. Yes. <laughs> Keep a look at that. <laughs> Very fun. Crazy. And then I am uh, Christina underscore Campani. And I'm the Knights of Horror. Yeah! It's been an absolute pleasure being back here again. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Very fun, chaotic. Yeah. Like, very chaotic. Yeah, yeah, like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. There was probably like, a list you were going to go through, and we went, shoot. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I honestly, I didn't have no plan for this. I was like, I know oh, if I just start Oh, this, they'll take it for you. They'll take <laughs> it. It's all in bra. So all I was just listening most of the time, and I was enjoying it. Right. So, you know, I can't wait to see what everyone else thinks. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, please subscribe down below, like the video, leave some comments down below, and come check out Zoe Reborn. Book now. Hey. Come see them um, at their events this year as well. Yeah, Woo. come to Not Scary Farm, Six Flags. Come here. Yes. There's gonna be a new, brand new escape room opening up. Pinocchio. Yep. Yeah. Purgatory. Mas Mas Don't play purgatory. Purgatory. Oh god. If you're a Christmas uh, person, Krampus. Krampus. Yeah. Krampus. Krampus is a lot of fun. Krampus is a lot of fun. The Grinch. The Grinch. The Grinch. The Grinch. Oh man. That's okay. Okay. And then we have Max. <laughs> Joey's just gone. Joey's just gone. I ended up cop from out here last night. <laughs> <laughs>